No, <laughs> no, no. That is the greatest twist ever. No, no. You were ready. You were ready for it. Yeah, oh, we were ready. No fucking way. Yeah. No. <laughs> Morning. The following podcast contains extreme themes and language and is not suitable for all audiences. Fancy some free beers this Christmas? It's Beer 52 Awards season where they showcase the very best independent craft breweries across the world with eight new and exclusive beers you won't find anywhere else. Simply go to www.beer52.com forward slash dead men and cover just £5.95 postage to receive your free case of eight incredible beers now. Looking for beer? I love Beer 52. They offer the ultimate immersive beer drinking experience. They've sent us a little uh, case here for us to try. Mm. There's loads of great stuff here. There's the uh, Omnipolo Outer Galactic, which is gorgeous. They're a massive big brewery in Spain. What are you drinking, Tom? Basque Land. Hey, treat yourselves, lads. Crack in. Yeah. Um, I like these beers are so delicious. I'm thinking of becoming an alcoholic again. <laughs> this one's lovely, actually. Yeah. This is a steeplechase pale ale. They are really nice. The way I think about it is this if you enjoy your beers and somebody said, Do you want to pay £5.95 for eight really nice beers that you're not just going to get down the supermarket? Eight beers that might be different to what you usually have. If you'd be up for that, then get on this www.beer52.com forward slash dead men. Hello and welcome to Dead Men Talking with me, Rob Mulholland, him a flabby, loose-skinned fat cunt, little not gay Tom, and we've got a very special guest all the way from the land down and there, Frenchy. Yes, the How flabby, doing, tight skin tall cunt, you can call me that. <laughs> Round here though, you're not, like you're not the tallest man. No, no, like, no. How no, tall no, are you? I'm one of the biggest cunts, so that's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, no, you... I'm only six, four and a half. <laughs> Wow, Bro, tiny. that's not fucking bad. Can't fuck off. How it's, tall are you? It's not great. Yeah, Six nah. or seven, mate. Oh, that's too tall. At some point, it's like freakish. Do, you, uh, do we, we did say a gig. that? We yeah, did a gig no, last that's fair. Night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did a I gig looked, last yeah. night, and the ceiling was so low yep. that he had to duck for the whole show. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I didn't. I just stepped backwards. Oh, right, you, you're really, from the you're really, o- really, backwards. you're really overblowing this. There was a beam that I played up to by standing under and being like, "Oh, look, I don't fit here," and everyone having a fun time because yeah. I'm a good comedian. Yeah, uh, you know, the class art. Yeah. So, and then, uh, <laughs> well, then I just stepped backwards, and it was fine. Okay, so, you know, great I, story. I wasn't, I wasn't hunched for the whole set. You made it out like I was like, "Hell, so dating yeah. tad." He uh, he was hunched for the whole set, <laughs> yeah. and then he he did this thing about Chinese people. Did the eyes? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah don't give away up. my stuff. Yeah. And then he blacked Got up. Got special coming out. <laughs> he blacked up. He went. You never see a black Chinese person, oh, do you? And that I was wouldn't. His bit. I wouldn't black up on stage. You prepare before the show, Freddie. You know, like, I don't want to be killing time on stage while I'm getting the boot polish out. Come on. At the same show, I. Uh, lived up the type a little bit because I had to use a stool to use the camera. <laughs> <laughs> really funny. So now I don't know what's true and what's not. No, that, was, really that did, one's yeah. true. That one's true. Tommy's so sure in order to operate a camera last night, he had to stand on a little stool. The tripod was very high, to be fair. It wasn't that high. It, it was, was It was higher than normal. Is this uh, the gig around here? Uh, it was in Liverpool. Uh, Freddie put on a little show. Oh, yeah, I it. did a little uh, show to record some of my worst bits to put on social media. Oh, I love that. And yeah. then just to run out some new bits as well. Mm. And it was it was good. It was fun, wasn't it? It was dead fun, yeah. It was fun. There was one girl who got up maybe three times. Yeah. Pissed me off. But yeah. apart from that. Really? Yeah, you know when you're recording something, you're like, yeah. just sit down for 30 minutes. Just sit and watch. Mm. Just, just. Please. Maybe if you're more entertaining. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm on his side. I'm on his side. They like to move. No, they like to, to fucking move. I, my crowd's a fucking mental. I did Leeds last night. Yeah. We kicked three out, and it should have been seven, to be honest. That's low yeah. for Leeds. It's a very yeah, it's a it's a wild town. It's Tuesday. It's Come a wild on. town. Leeds. We did none. We kicked out none in Hull. Yeah. They were well, very well behaved. More depressed. Oh, yeah, than, is that what it is? They're just like, ah, oh, fuck. So they don't really have the energy to be that much of a knobhead. Do you know what? Yeah. I've never really thought about it before, but from east to west <laughs> is like a scale of retardation. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and it's like, and what's the top? you start off at Hull, which yeah. is like, <laughs> and then you move to Leeds, which is like, hello. Like, they yeah. sort of say a bit, and then Manchester and Liverpool become and more. And that's why the football you, teams sorry, get you say, better. Are you yeah. saying Liverpool is fine? The way they speak is I'm, the non retarded one. the most intelligent, you're saying. Yeah. I'm saying compared to Hull. Well, I assume the Liverpool, uh, Liverpool is a different language, so that's why I'm like, at least I know the other ones are speaking English. I don't Scouse know. Scouse is one. very, it's it's a very parochial yeah. city. As they Liverpool. mainly speak smugness. That's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you self satisfaction. Have you had Legacy on this podcast? We haven't yet, actually. No, I fucking love Legacy. So yeah. he's he's uh, yeah, he lived in Australia uh, for 15 years now, and yeah. he still. C- can't understand anything he says because he's, he's got that scouse. Crazy scouse, kind crazy. Of legacy. Fifteen like, years, but tier. around this accent, and you couldn't pick up none of it. Yeah, none of it. Well, he probably didn't want to. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you've heard <laughs> your accents, mate. But like, we're not mate. like we're not like desperate to we're pick that top, up. We're yeah. top five sexiest accents. To who? Really? Oh, in, in Australia, it's a fucking <laughs> some sort of quiz. Right, like, Google, North Korea. Google, I think right maybe North Koreans. I don't Google. Know. <laughs> I don't know. Google yeah. it. Google yeah. it. So a North Korean. You, you, you five sound like sexiest freedom. accents. Okay, I didn't know you had Google ready to go. I was about to oh, talk we did. so much shit. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. did. I'm calling oh, the British. Oh, the British. Oh, oh, no, oh, oh, this, the, the, this must the, be UK the, Google. The, 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 the. Well, yeah. British. Yeah, British. You can't even just say British. That's yeah. like... It's not, no, it's it's not even British Google. No. It's malaysia.yahoo.com. Oh, right? well, okay. We are sexiest to the Malay people. Yeah, but... It's because they just don't want, they don't want to get conquered again. <laughs> <laughs> We've always hanging that over. Say we're sexy. <laughs> the but they're yeah. just a very submissive nation. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the thing is with that, uh, it, none of our British accents are the one they mean. Like, they mean Hugh Grant. They don't yeah, mean us yeah, like yeah, fucking yeah. out bloody, uh, you know. Hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they mean they're thinking James Bond. They're not thinking northern cunts like us. <laughs> you know? Yeah, all right. I'll yeah, say yeah. that. I'll say Australia that. not in the top five That's on this no, list. No, you on a oh, bad list. What, what a um, shock! You don't need to look at another one, but just uh, the list. I've, we'll find one. Australia's on. List. Search for top five most racist sounding accents. <laughs> <laughs> South Africa's got all five. Oh, top South, spots. South Africa's got it so good. They've got all top five. <laughs> they really do. It's an incredibly racist sounding. But this is a long. The list. This, this is, is better. Fifth. Queen's oh, English top. was 12. That makes me. Oh, there was yeah. Australian. Fifth. Australian the better fifth. list. There yeah, we go. Yeah. Yeah. What's this on? Enjoytravel.com. First uh, Kiwi. Well, that's. Just oh, ridiculous. shut up. South <laughs> African second. Are you believing this list? South African. Sexy racist South African. Yeah, yeah, maybe if you like, uh, maybe you've got some sort of like humiliation fetish. Mm. Maybe if you like being like dominated, mm. you'd be like, oh. Yeah. Treat me like a native, you know. Like, but treat me like a native. Yeah, that's what you're going <laughs> that's for. That's what I'm going with. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the only way a South African accent can be sexy. It's not sexy. How? I think it depends what sort of voice, because I think the sort of Riva, get out from behind that door. <laughs> Yeah, I'm got but the I semi right that... now after that. Yeah, I get it. I get it now. At no point can I do a Pistorius role play. No, but the thing <laughs> is, is on your knees. Pistorius, I think, sounds sexy than say Nelson Mandela. Right. Like I couldn't imagine him on a phone yeah, set. A long wank to freedom. <laughs> 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 oh, we've got to make that pod. Get Godwin on the phone. <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> that's my that's my I don't think I've heard this story. Sound anything speak. like? Oh, him. that was Nelson Mandela. No, yeah, he, he, oh, I thought you were doing Pistorius um, again. He, Twenty-five years in prison, I have had. <laughs> 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 no, he, he liked to mix it up when he was in prison. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes just doing Star Wars stuff to keep everyone entertained. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nelson, do you Chewbacca? <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Uh, and, but, uh, yeah, I'm calling bullshit on this. Like the fact that like Italian and Irish are below South African is insane. No, Irish insane. Is, yeah, Irish, Irish is, is funny. It's not. Sexy. Irish depends I on the do. Irish though. There is horrible Irish, but there is also like beautiful Irish where like you know like underwear will fall off people with certain like twinkly mm. Irish. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's very charming. It's either it's either sort of you know beautiful rolling green fields mm. Irish or punch your wife Irish. Yeah. So basically, it's either Republic of Ireland. <laughs> or <laughs> Northern <laughs> Irish, where it's like, yeah, yeah, like uh, you know, one of them's like, oh, you're dead sexy. The other one's like, I'm gonna go check under my car. <laughs> <laughs> I think Italians sexy. I think that's ridiculously that's, sexy. That's sort yeah. of like yeah. a university. Like sexy no one. one doesn't want to fuck an Italian. Yeah, Come on, you know, mm. like, all this. And speaking of people not wanting to fuck people, what are they? What is Freddie does the 
of segues. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll, I'm ready for it, though. Yeah. I'm here for it. I'm like, uh, okay, that was smooth. <laughs> you, so you might have seen this going viral recently. Yeah. So, Frenchie, I don't know if you've seen this. This has definitely gone viral on the old English it's Twitter. Entitled, I think it's just it's the entitled internet, mate. Glory Hole. So this, I've seen a few videos like this. I'm not sure exactly. No, no, no. The right one. I think there was one. This is a bunch of uh, voice notes. I'm not sure if there's still Mandela in prison. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> this is this is. Do you reckon they have glory holes in prison? Yeah, of course they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we'll see the okay. bars. I guess it's more of a yeah on Nobbin Island. <laughs> you pleased with yourself? Yeah, a little bit. Right. So this is a voice note story that's done the rounds recently of what i think it's fair to say is maybe the most unfortunate stag do in history okay well second after tom's my friend amelia who i was with yesterday she's got a mate called ellie who's in a house share in london and um ellie shares with like a bunch of girls and one of the girls was telling her she's just been on a hen do to Amsterdam, where the stag and the hen went at the same time. I think they were all just like a mixed social group who kind of like knew each other. But then the stag went one day and the hen one way and the hens went the other. OK, pause it for just a second there. French, have you heard this yet? Uh, no, 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 no. OK, so this is <laughs> a stag do. You're in for a do. treat. This is a stag do. You know, the lads and the girls both went to Amsterdam at the a same box time. Do. But they went yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah, but so they... I, I've been to your country, mate. I know your ways. Wait, That's... do you not call it stag? No, but, like, aren't they both deer? Bats. What? A yeah. buck and a stag yeah, and a deer. Yeah, I don't know why thing. we need to separate the, the yeah. difference. But... Our countries need to come together. Yeah, to well, I think that's us convict <laughs> now, mentality. It's like, we're not going to say you had the to same thing. If you had to take a swing at what might have gone wrong here, what do you think? Oh, glory hole. Someone's stuck in the cock. Um, and I'm thinking if it's exciting, honestly, if I'm thinking it's exciting, you're thinking, oh, it's going to be her sucking his cock. It must be him sucking the cock. You're, going, I, with, I, you're, you're going with the groom has suddenly decided to suck a dick. <laughs> yeah, that's a week before his happens. wedding day. That's what I'm going with. Just and then, get he, found, it and then he found out his wife's got a dick. Yeah, that's what I'm Oh, <laughs> that would fuck, be. this is going to be, be a amazing. Twist. If Sorry. There was someone getting married who was secretly gay, then it turned out their wife was secretly trans. And they're like, oh, oh thank oh, fuck. Oh, that's worked I'll out. I'll tell brilliant. you what, though, it was been very suspicious. That movie um, would get funded. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, no. It would be very suspicious. Brilliant, right? A sitcom about it. It's very suspicious of her being like, a, not until we're married. And yeah. he'd be like, I agree wholeheartedly. I think yeah. that's great. I'm not bothered either. <laughs> now for my last night of freedom. <laughs> no, but, but there's always those stories where guys don't want to do sex because they got a micro penis and then they do it on the wedding night. And the girl's like, oh, fuck, you don't even have a cock. That's why you got to bang people late. before weddings. Yeah. You That's it, why you I got it. married. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I've said... Head looking scale for I've you. said for many years now that... <laughs> what point are you this serious right. about? Four score and 20 years ago. Right. Dick pics are the greatest thing to happen to feminism <laughs> in the history of feminism. <laughs> Continue because no, I'm, I'm for most of history, women. If, a, if anyone could solve feminism, I think it's us four. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen up, ladies. <laughs> you ladies have been faddying about with it for too long. Let us sort it out for you. So, uh, for, for almost all of history, right? When a woman sees a cock that she's going to put in her for the first time, <laughs> it's when it's in her face. Do you know what I mean? That's, I, don't, face. I, don't think, I don't think that's how it's always face. been. No, no, no. But why the face? Are you trying to hypnotise them? No, 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 no. <laughs> but but the, the first time a woman sees a dick, for most of history, was two seconds before that dick's going yes, inside. Yes, okay, go, yeah, go, yeah, go, yeah. But thanks to dick pics, mm -hmm. they get to sort of... You know when Ikea did that thing where they went, here's how it would look in your house? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that okay, okay, but for okay. dicks it's like a catalogue yeah and they all moan oh I get dick pics all the time it's terrible it's the greatest thing yeah but it's ever happened it gets annoying why have you ever had it where Argos doesn't take your name off the list and delivers you like five catalogues that's essentially what happens with women with dick pics isn't it? it's like alright we've had a look I don't need I don't know where to put all these now you know I think, I think that's the problem yeah. over delivery but do you not feel sorry for like a woman who's like you know she's really into it 
and then you look and you see a tiny little dick. Or you look and you just see this massive, enormous, fucking throbbing cock that yeah. you guys can't do anything with that. Well, she, well at least she's got to stretch it out before she knows. Yeah. She's, she's warned. Exactly. She's like an emo's earlobe. She's got to work ring. up. Exactly. No, definitely. Like, if you're going for a run, I imagine you want to know how long it is. Uh, why would you know? I wouldn't know. That's what <laughs> <I'm saying. laughs> Good your running, mate, I've heard people do. If your mate said, do you want to go for a run? I imagine you'd want to know how long it is before you set off. No, you wouldn't. You'd just say no. There's no amount of runway. You'd be like, actually, no, I'm up for it. No, I'm yeah, using like of, you as a yeah. general sort of term for like people. Like a human who isn't definitely not you. Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay, okay. By you, I mean anyone but me. Right. So, like, and that's what dick pics are. They're a chance for you to go, I, I got to prefer but my what if they? This. But, but but I think I, I don't want to be the other side here. But they're not interested in in any form of exercise with you at all. <laughs> in fact, could be allergic to running. That yeah. running might make them like ill. Yeah, it might make them feel really physically sick. The idea of do, even doing yoga next to you yes. would make them really. I don't know how to violate the metaphorical term. Seeing you in the gym makes women cancel their membership. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing you in the gym would make me faint. <laughs> I've been doing like a cartoon double tailor. Like, How terrible is this gym? <laughs> and yeah, people have been cancelling in droves. Anyway, continue anyway, your point. Anyway, anyway, anyway. That's sorry, the end of sorry. my point. Yeah. That's the end sorry. of my point. My point is... Also, is dick the old... pics are great for you because you finally get to see your penis again. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're fat and you can't see it. Yeah, you've got so a big fat belly over your little Relying off dick. your mum what it looks like. Because it's in her face. Yeah, not even in her mouth. I just rub it on her eyes. <laughs> I yeah. use it to sort so of... just smeg my eye yeah. shadow. <laughs> I just push her eyes to sleep. You know what they do with like a dead body? Yeah. I do that with my dick and foreskin on her right. eyes. She's, I assume she's been crushed to death in this story. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> there would be something really funny about sexually crushing someone to death and then just using your dick just to put <laughs> out of respect you know use two unrolled condoms like the pennies on the eyes <laughs> So, <laughs> so they're on a st joint stag and hen do. They're in Amsterdam. Yeah, they're in Amsterdam. <laughs> right, this is what happened. The girls on the hen do got super drunk and went into one of these booths with like a glory hole. And so a guy on the other side stuck his dick through. So the girl was just drunk and started sucking him off. But it was one of these ones apparently where like if like she pushes a button and the guy pushes a button on the other side, they can kind of see who's on the other side. Like it makes it like transparent, like a window so they can see. And so. So. Oh. <laughs> Let's not even bother guessing. Let's there's carry on. There's, 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 there's no way you can guess better. So being drunk, she thought it'd be hilarious to push his button just to see who she'd been sucking off. And so she pushes the button and looks up and it's her dad on the other side. No! <laughs> no! No! That is the greatest twist ever! No! No! <laughs> You were ready. You were ready for it. Yeah, oh, we were ready. No fucking way. Yeah. No. <laughs> that is not a real story. Now, if that was to happen to you, Frenchie, I know if, if you're frequenting a glory hole. Oh no, the dad. dick. That's my dad. To be yeah. honest, yeah. So it, I, mean, I wouldn't need to see the, the face. That yeah, I'll just know from the dick. <laughs> the reason I say <laughs> I wouldn't know from the dick. Tastes maybe like not. It tastes like dad. Maybe not hard actually, but I, like it was like at least. Like a middle ground. Old How? Well, We've got your way. name tattooed on it, haven't yeah. <laughs> How great would it be? <laughs> that you was a myth. You can't use a glory hole until you're fully hard, though. So if yeah, you no, okay, yeah, right, flaccid, you're right. There's no way would've. to enter a I glory probably hole know it hard. How okay, great would it be if that's how you reunited with your long lost guys? Oh, that would be amazing. I haven't seen it for 20 <laughs> years. Because, because to be honest, when the glass went translucent, there'd be a couple of minutes where we'd, like, you know, there'd be a, at least a few seconds where we'd be like, Oh, do you know what it'd look like? We instantly recognise each other. It's been twenty yeah. years. Do you know what yeah. it'd look like? You know when you go to a zoo and a monkey comes really close to the glass, yeah. and you both stare at each other like for a bit, hand up against like that. You're both tapping at it. Yeah. I'm just like I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Anyway, well, also that actually goes back to your point. 
if <laughs> yeah. her dad had sent a dick pic <laughs> to his daughter, she would know not to suck it because that's dad's dick. That's, that's a great idea. That's a great point. Hey, exactly, children, make sure your child knows exactly what your erect penis looks <laughs> or and tastes like Holy or minge shit. in order to make sure that they never get sexually abused by here's, you here's, accidentally. <laughs> here's a question. You probably won't be able to join in with Holy this. Yeah. Do you reckon... You'd be able to identify your dad's dick in a lineup. <laughs> just, just for the fact that, like, that's what I was saying. Like soft to medium, yeah. Yeah, like, like just for the fact that to you medium. Know, like, oh, well, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I think they just generally look a the, bit, bit media when they get to that dad dick stage, don't they? Yeah. I think but if, just, it's, if it's a, in a, a group of dad dicks, I think yeah. though they seem meatier to you. It's like the way, um, you mm. know, you think like uh, when you grow up, you have a chocolate bar you used to have, and you're like, oh, this is tiny now. Your hands have got bigger. Yeah. You know, yeah. it'd be the same you're thing right. with your dad's you're dick. Right. When you're little, it seems This massive. used to fill my whole mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I swear this used to have nuts. <laughs> Plus, you need two hands around it. I reckon I even might be able to do it, though, because I just use the one that looks the most like mine. Because well, we this must is have it. Yeah, similarities. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I take after my mum with my dick. <laughs> 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 it's at this point in the recording that our main camera decided to fuck up horrifically. Now, we're not going to lay the blame at anyone's door. Mm. Uh, it could definitely happen to anyone. Certainly. Uh, however, Tom is sat right next to the camera and it, it is his job. He is the producer. <laughs> That is, that is one of the producer's jobs to make the ca- make sure the camera is yeah, on. But it's nobody's fault, is it? It's no one's fault. We're not blaming anyone. It could happen to anyone who was producing the podcast. It could happen to... Wouldn't happen to Sam Lomas, would it? It wouldn't have happened to him, no. no he's no. a professional. He Best producer in the game. Anyway... Pay pretend, you know, it wouldn't happen to Sensei Carl and have a word. He'd no. pay attention. He'd look and make sure the cameras are on. It's anyway, do. what's going to happen Even now... Even Binti on Hot Water <laughs> would have made sure the cameras were on. Even a deaf, dumb, blind, retarded child mm. that we brought in as some sort of bizarre make-a-wish scheme who wished to be a producer on a podcast would not have made this error. Well, well he did, it, actually. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> It could happen to anyone. Anyone. It could have happened to anyone. Anyway, anyway we're not angry about it. That's the main thing. We've got over it. What's yeah. going to happen now is we are going to turn into cartoons yeah. through the magic of animation. Finally, Freddy is going to be able to entice children easier. That's exactly what we needed. Well, yours is... Yours is uh, I'm circumcised. So yeah. is your dad circumcised? I don't know, no. No, yeah, but the not, circumcision no. might not look the same because you know it's an operation. It's you know yeah. unless you've had the same surgeon. No, they be, signed the name like a painter. Signature. Yeah, <laughs> you need the same surgeon. Yeah. Uh, right, okay. I reckon I could. I don't know his dick, but I know my. You know dad. dicks, though. You know what I mean? Because you're gay. That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm not. He just likes to say it relentlessly. You good? Um, <laughs> <laughs> a bit defensive. <laughs> yeah, and now I'm starting to think you. It's fine. Like. So <laughs> it's tw- and this is what I keep saying. We love you, Freddie. It's fine that you're a flaming gay. <laughs> <laughs> so what I mean is, I feel like Bear, yeah, for a yeah, million yeah, pounds, yeah, yeah. twenty dicks. Mm-hmm. I reckon I'd be able to tell my dad. <laughs> And I reckon I'd be able to go. Twenty is a lot. They don't do twenty in a real lineup. Yeah, so. that's no, too many. You're, yeah. making, you're making it harder I'm for yourself. Talking, I think you want yeah, more dicks yeah, but, around yeah, here. Yeah, he's making it a lot 20 more Twenty dicks. Yeah. I jerk them all off, and we see <laughs> if I can pick them out. Call it a nice even <laughs> three thousand dicks. <laughs> Might have to taste a few. I don't know. I don't know. No, but I mean representative of the population. My so straight away is very is a... sensitive. It's the best way for me to feel out <laughs> which one's which. <laughs> <laughs> Straight away, I mean, right, representative of the population. So, oh, so you're, take, you're, you're taking twenty any, random dicks. Yes, yeah, so you can take out any that aren't like white. Dicks, what do you mean, like classic random. white cock? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and if then, it's random dick, it's a lot easier. Yeah, I'm it's got to be I'm, random. It's got to be. It's got to be random. But well, then, no, yeah, but like with an identity parade, they get like true, guys true. who look similar. True. Yeah. So you need. You true. need. Well, this isn't an identity 20 parade. Twenty fat, is... sad old men mm. <laughs> in order to replicate mm. Freddie's dad. <laughs> yes. Just go down to your local conservative club, yeah. round them up, say we're doing yeah. a prostate cancer check. Just go, and... go to a kebab, a kebab van with a net. <laughs> Get in. Um, anyway, I would think that if you are ever presented in a situation where you accidentally, as a lady, suck your dad's dick off in a glory hole yes, yes, in Amsterdam yes, yes. on your hen night. Yes. I don't I think it was think, her head night. It was a different head night. I, okay. I Makes think, it almost worse, doesn't I it? Think, yeah, you're not I even getting your... the marriage at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your head night, you're allowed to go a little crazy. But... <laughs> <laughs> uh, There's actually a bit more of the video. Okay. So I know, I know, I know. But I think, but. as a general rule, if this happens to you, you should not tell anyone. 
I don't think we need a general rule for this quite specific situation. I think we need very specific rules for well, this. Well, this is the kind of thing that you and your daughter look each other in the eyes and you go, we can never mm. tell anyone. Mm. Well, yeah. but I could finish. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. the conundrum. Do you finish? Because, you know, in for a penny. <laughs> Oh, I don't know that. <laughs> It'd be bad if they locked eyes and that was the moment he like, the vinegars. Okay, but like, you know... <laughs> or you, finish, you, can't, the... you can't finish. Because you know when you watch some bad porn yeah. and as soon as you come, you're like, I need to delete everything. Yeah. The post-nut clarity I'm, of coming in your yeah, daughter's you're, mouth You're going to have be... to drown her in the river, aren't you? <laughs> like, how do you delete... That, yeah, like, yeah, internet you know, history, do you know what I mean? Yeah, you can't just... You, oh, I'm afraid my daughter fell in the canal. There's no incognito browser that you can close, exactly. is That's there? what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's there's, what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and like, there's that moment as well sometimes where you like turn your laptop off and you like catch your reflection in the black screen when yeah. it's off and it's horrible. Mm. Imagine that, but it's a two-way <laughs> mirror going back from your daughter's yeah. cum-covered face. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no... Just you see your own reflection. It's like... <gasps> there's no way you can mentally erase the sound of her gargling, is there? <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> right. But they went a slightly different way. They they managed to I let think this... I'd go gay they... after this. It's not all it's cracked up to me. <laughs> they let the cat out of the Apparently, like the hen and the stag do all went home early because it was like so traumatic. And the girl's fallen out with all her family. The mum's obviously found out and is, like, not speaking to the dad. Like, it's broken up the whole family because this girl sucked off her dad. <laughs> now, what on, earth, do it. <laughs> what on earth yeah. is she talking about? <laughs> mum obviously found out. Well, once, once that many people know, you know, it's getting back mm. to mum. Mm. There's, like, yeah. 30 people who know about this yeah. already. Like, we know about Mums no. Mums no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, You know when you come and you've been drinking as a teenager? Uh, you're like, mum's like, mum, no. She's yeah. sniffing your breath. Yeah, is that yeah, your dad's cup? Just, no. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. I'd know that taste anywhere. anywhere. Yeah, I think the serious thing about this story is that the stag do all went home after it. If mm. I was on a stag do, and that, I, I wouldn't go home from any stag do in any situation. Mm. If that had happened, I'd stay longer because yeah. I'd want everyone in Amsterdam to know what had happened. Yeah, yeah, it'd make it the greatest stag do. Oh, we all have to leave. Why? Because Jenna sucked her dad off. What? Fuck that. Yeah. What? We've been here for. 14 hours. I'd what be the like, fuck are you on about? Where's that glory? Oh, like, that sounds yeah. class. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, but... done again. Back where's so that soon. glory? Oh, but you message your daughter. What's your exact location yeah. right now? <laughs> FaceTime me from I'm going to put an Apple tag on you just before <laughs> I All go. your relatives, actually, all of them yeah. in the I... family chat. Where is everyone? No one's done anything wrong here, though, right? They've both done exactly what you should do at a glory hole. They've been incredibly unlucky. Well, hang about. Dad yeah. has done something wrong because he's married and he's going to a glory yeah. hole. Yeah. Oh, well, you're going to Amsterdam, isn't it? Yeah, it's rules? Amsterdam. But look, look, that's that's like mildly shitty, but it's not like illegal or anything. You know, it's yeah. like you know, it's a shitty move. But I think know. the thing that they've done wrong is the, the installers of that glory hole. The whole point of a glory hole is you mm. don't know who it is, so yeah. that button just yeah. ruins the whole thing for it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like no one would have known otherwise. So they, they, they would have had a lovely time in a glory hole. Exactly. They would have both got home happy. Exactly. Yeah. Could you Ignorance sue? is bliss. Yeah. Could you sue? Maybe. I don't know what Dutch law is like, mate, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know what I think, Dutch glory hole law is yeah. like, but I imagine it's probably quite liberal. I think if the if you choose to do the <laughs> yeah, button, true. maybe if the wall had yeah. fallen down and you'd yeah, found out, then yeah, you could yeah, see yeah, yeah, There's yeah, yeah. really strict rules around this box that yeah. cocks come out of you. So. <laughs> I, I, knowing the Dutch, they'll be like, yes, you shocked your dad off. That is the risk you take sometimes <laughs> when you shock random dicks, okay? Nelson Mandela again. Nelson Mandela <laughs> yeah, is back. Mark Wahlberg, what the fuck? That's... <laughs> <laughs> That's, that was a very good Dutch accent is what happened there and you're being mean I, I, so I get the fact that the daughter and the, the dad went home I get that they both went home mm. Got some unfinished business. But, yeah. but, I reckon. But I reckon straight to bed. When, <laughs> I reckon when Ryan Ertz said, "Do you want to pick your seats next to each other?" I bet they were like, "Nah." Yeah, yeah you pay the extra twenty quid, don't yeah. you, to be at the other well, end of the aisle. Time apart. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't have told anyone. I would have said, "Oh, we just had some family news that her grandma's 
Like, yeah. <laughs> such I'm a granddad. Is, I'm like, <laughs> I think this is instant suicide. I, don't know, like, I think this is an instant out. If you get sucked off by your daughter, like your life's never the same from yeah. there, is it? You can't go to the pub. You, you, your you life is, oh, pub. you have to like either kill yourself or move somewhere where no one knows you. You have I to think, walk away from your entire life. I think it's, it's only, over. I think it's only instant suicide if it's the greatest blowjob you've ever had in your life. If you even enjoy, enjoyed it a bit, it's going to be so solid. Because you're up to that you've point. You've got to enjoy it a bit. Well, exactly. You're having a great time up till then. I think it's worse if you don't enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it and you've ruined your life for a shit blowjob, that's way worse. At least if you had a good blowjob, you've ruined your life and you've had a good blowjob. What a no, bizarre then, way of looking at it to be like, oh, as if I raised a daughter that couldn't suck cock yeah. well. <laughs> oh, at least my daughter's clearly sucked loads of dicks before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's very progressive of you, Tom. Yeah. Uh, I think is is he a born again Christians? Is that a thing here? Yeah, yeah. we have some, some of those. Yeah, yeah, I think that's probably how they most of them start, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but because I get Christianity when you yeah. grow up with you in the church, but if you're having this wild life, something bad fucking happens. Like, I'm yeah. born again Christian. Like, yo, I've seen you. Like, yeah, you're about yeah. to have the best story at an AA meeting, yeah. aren't you? You have to <laughs> you have to o- overcorrect so hard. And become like a proper religious person. I don't think you can. Yeah, like, I think I think that's the way to do it. I think mm. that's the way to do it. You're either gonna never fuck again or become real deviant. It's gonna go one of the two ways, isn't oh, it? Oh, you know the stepdaughter porn's big on the internet. Yeah, yeah you just take go, go one step. Whoa, a little further. Yeah, daughter you've, porn. You've got a gap in the market there. Yeah, daughter porn. Yeah, I think it is illegal. Is the problem? But you said not in Amsterdam. Yeah, I don't know about yeah. To be fair, maybe <laughs> maybe not in Holland. Like they don't seem to give a fuck in Holland. Uh, so I, think, I, um, I think there's probably a law about fucking your daughter there. Oh, what's the Woody Allen law, isn't it? Yeah. So you just got to adopt them first. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, if he's yeah, adopted, yeah. it's great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Isn't he like in his 70s and she's like 23 or yeah, something? Yeah, he's yeah. a creepy old man. He, uh... he, it literally every one of his films is about a creepy old man played by him fucking a 15-year-old. Yeah. It's like, it's right there. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Uh, but also, uh, this story is definitely bollocks. Uh, as fun as it is. I don't think it they is. They say, what do you mean? They say apparently like nine times in the story. Also, where's these booths? Yeah, but- I've been to Amsterdam like 10 times. I've never heard of these booths. But know. but here's the thing, also, right? Is she says apparently lots of times because she's a basic white woman. Because she's bullshitting. I think, also, I think, we've I got think a full people- name too. <laughs> yeah. I think too many people know up? about it. Can we ring her? <laughs> Did you add her on Facebook? Charlotte Watson. I, ima- I imagine... Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, no, sorry. No, sorry. Sorry. Look, we're not yeah, spreading not this. Good, this has already good. gone fucking viral. Yeah, this had 25 million views. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't think it. I don't think our couple of thousand are going to uh, move the needle that hard, mate, to be honest with you. Charlotte. Very optimistic of you there. Thanks, Frenchie. But, uh, <laughs> Got you. <laughs> really bigging us up there, mate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's going to be dead men who blow this wide open. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling it absolute bullshit. Uh, it's very, very funny. But it feels to me like that story where it's like, oh, I was having a whack with headphones on and I closed my eyes. And when I opened my eyes, my mum had left me a cup of tea. It feels like one of them. What? You know, yeah. you know that? Like an urban myth. Kind yeah, of. yeah, yeah. I um, hope it's true. I hope it's true because it's hilarious. And uh, two people's lives being ruined like this is very funny. Yeah. But I, I don't think so, mate. I, I can't. I don't think so. I, I want to live in a world where it's true. Exactly. I but... choose to believe magic. Yeah. <laughs> I think, you know what? I think the, the reason I don't think it's true is people who go on joint sta- stag and hen do's, more often than not, pussies. Mm. These two people don't sound like pussies. No, they sound like they went hard in the paint. They sound like rock and roll people. I, I do want to invite them to my stag do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I very quickly say that surely, like, you must have... He must have finished in her mouth in order for her to be like, I wonder who this is. No, like, not necessarily. No you might be that... halfway through, want a bit yeah. of eye contact or something, you know, you like you'd be curious from the moment it went in the mouth, isn't it? Like I'd be curious from the first second I put me knob through the hole, you know, I'd yeah. be like, Oh, I wonder who that is. <laughs> I think it'd be impossible not to press that button. Yeah. I think you'd have to. Yeah. But then you ruin, I think you ruin the whole thing of it. Yeah. I think, you know, That's why I don't think there should be the button. Yeah. Uh, like that swingers club we went to that were just like glory holes that were just sort of like it was like a bit of wood that you could just pop your head around if you wanted it <laughs> oh, was like yeah. it was barely a glory hole was this for fun or for the podcast you were in the swingers club uh, a little from Colum- yeah, 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 a little from Colum- <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it was very much we pushed Freddie on a sex swing and it was very funny because uh, uh, he's very fat it, it was very much <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting that <laughs> <laughs> oh, just like a singular Newton's cradle yeah, then it I was just crazy the about. squeak of that spring as it just tortured as it went it was amazing oh yeah I nearly broke down a whole club didn't I yeah oh speaking of which I did a gig uh, last weekend Uh, there was a fireman in the front row 
and so because he's gay. <laughs> yep. I assume that where I was going. You'd... It's actually Put in the interval, pole, I get it. carving a hole out of the <laughs> toilet. Um, so I was, um, there was a fireman in the front row, right? And I said to him, do you reckon you can pick me up? And he went, <laughs> and he went yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he, he went, went on a stage. Fireman, not a fucking miracle worker. <laughs> he went on stage, went to pick me up in a fireman's lift, literally bent his knees, got me, didn't even get my feet off the ground. He just went, nope. <laughs> You're burning it down. Oh though. yeah, isn't yeah. that like slightly concerning? Because you can't make it down the stairs under your own steam. So like, you're going to need a fireman to be able to carry you. And this is the lightest you've ever been as well. Freddie's lost about two stone in the last couple of months. Well, as you, you know, but if you can't make it down the stairs, how did he make it up the stairs? That's what I'm confused. I about. don't know. <laughs> we, we're all confused like every time. Cow. Yeah. I think you need a slide. Yeah. Like a safety slide. Yeah. Safety slide, yeah. I'm just going to just like... Like what's it in Gilbert Grave? I'm, I'm yeah. picturing that. <laughs> just whiz him out into the road there, into traffic. I'd rather just live in bungalows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you'd rather have a bungalow it. than have a slide. I'd love a slide in my house. It'd be class. No, yeah. but you wouldn't get the slide that you're pitching in your head. You'd get the um, airplane has crashed in water slide. Yeah, that looks super fun. Yeah, that's more yeah, fun. That's, 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 it's an inflateable slide. Yeah, that's like the best fun. fun. You can I, bounce on it. That's I a often, dream. I, I always think, want to do that. Yeah, I often think, I hope we have a... A nice crash, yeah, so I can yeah. go on that big slide. Exactly, the big slide looks amazing. I don't even think that's a safety thing. I just think that's to cheer everyone up after the crash. <laughs> 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 well, Grandma's dead, but we. <laughs> <laughs> and the whistles, that's yeah. probably what they're for. The too. whistles are fun. I like, have yeah. a party and stuff. Beep, 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 beep. Some fun jackets. Yeah, those oxygen masks. Yeah. Yeah. Plane rides are the fucking best. Yeah. Have you ever been on a plane that's like struggled? Yeah, I, I imagine you have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Freddie has, Fred has to sit in the middle. <laughs> Sometimes they have to move people around if the weight's all on one side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, around. they have me on one side and then <laughs> everyone else. Everyone else on the other. Yeah. Is it Ryanair? Is that your, your shit airline? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, Ryanair's our budget airline. Oh, that's our Jetstar, is it called? Yeah, is it? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I had a couple of Jetstar flights in ours. Oh, yeah, they're, yeah. they're grim. Ooh, they're grim. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's uh, just the scent of meth in the air. It's oh, yeah. you got to yeah. pay more for air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Very Australia aggressive from, people. Frenchy? Huh? Whereabouts in Australia are you from? You know, Wollongong? Uh, no, but it sounds like a slur. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just the accent. Yeah, bloody Wollongong. <laughs> Wollongong. It's just south of Sydney. It's like two hours south of Sydney. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. South of Sydney. I thought Sydney. Oh, I don't know. You don't I, know any job. I don't know where anything yeah, yeah. is. No, no, no. So You're an incredible I know that man. I'm watching a fucking thing at the moment on Netflix about Australia. Well, not about Australia. About um, a murder in like, this tiny little fucking outback town called Larimer. Or something like that. In what like country? Australia. Okay. And there's like 11 people in this fucking town, and one person gets murdered. And, uh, like yeah. Cluedo, like real That's life Cluedo. Fine. Literally yeah, Logan, real Cluedo. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they're all in string vests. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate, well that's the thing that really fascinated me. It's like yeah. those little yeah. outback. Colonel Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> those those little Jack. <laughs> it's the dingo. It's always the dingo too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those little outback towns. Yeah, you solve it. The, the card. The dingo. dingo again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the meth pipe. <laughs> Those little outback towns where there's like nothing there. Yeah. Like like they look so phenomenally shit. Yeah. They're the not near anything. That's why Wolf Creek is so good because it's like it really is great. scary out there out back. That's yeah. what I tell you. You need to always have water and a full tank of petrol. Yeah. Australian remote is fucking remote. Mm. It's like it's crazy the distances involved. Yeah, it's like ninety percent of our population is on the coast or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Why would the other the ten percent just be like, ah, oh, the middle? That's where I want to be. Cheaper. Save really? That, save that money? Yeah. yeah. But it's hot. And farmers, farmers and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean, I knew murderers. Good place to be a murderer. Yeah, bro. I yeah. used to work. Retired with rapists. I used oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Suck off your daughter. You got to go live somewhere. <laughs> oh no, other way around. Yeah. Your daughter sucks. That's off where I fucking old. move. If I got sucked off by my daughter, I'm going to the outback. I've I, got... <laughs> just firstly to pull you up on something that you've said. I think that if you're a rapist, you never really retire. <laughs> I don't think you don't no, have like a testimonial the, rape, do you? You, like, you, you bring back some old favourites. Yeah. <laughs> like 10 years. Here's all the best people I've raped over the last decade. And we're going to have some sort of weird battle royale. Some, some of your best colleagues. <laughs> yeah, you a few are. celebrities in there. Celebrity rapists. Get Michael Jackson in there. Oh, mate. Sucker rape. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sucker rape. It's just all Manchester United players. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because the retirement home is just prison, but that's just a different type of rape. That is true. Yeah, you're just switching it up. So yeah. I knew a guy from Australia 
Um, oh, don't do a segue after raving on an Australian bloke story. Oh. Well, <laughs> I'll roll Paris the affair. Yeah. And, you know, the rest of your population. <laughs> <laughs> Convicts, not rapists. No, 98, 98% of 98%, Australians. We looked into it, we Googled it. 98% of Australians are rapists and the other 2% are liars. <laughs> Oh, there we go. There so, we go. <laughs> we got, we've got the data. We've got the data. You can't argue with science. We've got sexy accents while we do it. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's not as bad. Anyway, it softens the blow. I knew this. I knew this guy, and he lived in the outback. He was yeah. a farmer in the outback, and he lived in this remote place. God knows where, right? And he said that he had a few workers that had come three days a week and work on his fucking farm, and then afterwards, when they left, he would not see a single person for four days until they came back. He, w- he wouldn't see anybody. He'd just be on his own in the middle of bumfuck nowhere for four days. Yeah. And that life was so shit that he traded it in to work in a call center in Preston. <laughs> <laughs> it honestly sounds like your perfect existence, though. Yeah. Like, if someone just comes and delivers you wine and curry once a week, you'll be fucking fine. I would love that. I would <laughs> love that. Yeah. But I'd need proper internet connection. Like, I need... the, the, the dark being... web. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's downloading uh, several thousand <laughs> files at a time, you know? He's getting a few yeah. packages delivered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. there's nothing worse than child porn that buffers. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, delayed gratification. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, by the time it's loaded, she'll be old enough. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, that felt great. I was really kicking the hangover this conversation. <laughs> we hope you're enjoying Dead Men Talking, and if you are, why not become a Patreon? You yeah, can tight bastard. Give can, us three quid. You can sign up at patreon.com forward slash Dead Men Talk Pod, and for that, you get an extra episode every single week. You get access to specials, and you get to help support the podcast in a way that will make it a long term thing because yeah. without the patreons we couldn't afford to keep doing this so and uh, we're definitely going to get in a lot of trouble at some point and uh, having like a built-in audience that aren't going anywhere that are subscribing oh. really will protect us lawyers ain't cheap bro <laughs> um, so look if you are enjoying it you can actually head over to patreon.com forward slash dead men talk pod right now and sign up for a seven day free trial and for that you'll get access to everything so you can check out if it's for you before paying yeah um, don't go for a free membership by the way that's not the same thing free trial and then you get access to absolutely everything on the patreon and if you're just dead uh skin or cheap just try and watch everything in a week good luck there's too much stuff and here's a sample of the sort of thing we're getting up to on patreon girl as long as it's not like my friend has seen a micro before so as long as it's nothing of that sort like as long as it's five inches plus so no six she was asked yeah. where the size Five matters. Five inches is like your mandatory size. Yeah, but you know, the bigger the better. So what's the biggest I've ever taken? Like, oh my god, lies. That's really big. Like Absolute really big. lies. That is- I bet there's video of that to prove it. So basically, for anyone who's listening on audio, this is a little person, uh, not a child, a little person, uh, <laughs> in the back of a car being interviewed about whether size matters to them, and they're like, yeah. If you've got a little knob, get the fuck out of it. Yeah, I mean, fair play to her for taking this interview on the way to the circus. <laughs> or panto. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you say about dwarves? Really good head. Well, big, anyway. If you want to get with me, you got to get with my seven friends. Yeah. <laughs> She's a high ho yeah. it's, it's off to fourth base we go. <laughs> that's angry, that's sleepy, that's dopey, and that's slaggy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is a bit rich, isn't it? I mean, like, you can't have a I micro-penis. feel like you without... can't have a genetic thing that makes you small. Like, mm. yeah, I, f- I feel like without being a dick, you're not allowed to say size matters if you're a midget. Yeah. Can you imagine how gutting it would be to have a micro penis watching this video, being like, even the fucking tiny one? But surely... I thought it'd be to scale. It's like doll's house furniture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thought it'd, be like, <laughs> thought it'd be like going to one of those miniature villages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it's... the first person I'd try and fuck if I had a micro penis. This is my Lego Wonderland. That's yeah. what this is. Yeah, it's fucking unreal. That's really... I, I think this isn't representative of dwarf women, though. I think she's just a slag. Also, there's no way she's a dick that big. Uh, that's that's one of her legs. I don't know. Have they got... not? Uh, they must have normal-sized fannies. No, but they, mo- they must not have normal-sized insides. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I don't know how much of her inside is funny. 
<laughs> I don't know how much is anything everything, else. Unless it's everything up to her neck. Yeah. I don't think she's fucking taking it. Well, she, she might have taken it up her ass. She didn't say where. Did you have fat ass? <laughs> 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 Actually, small tits, fat ass. I think we're hit, we've hit the Quinn trifecta. This is your ideal woman, isn't it? Apart from the fact that she likes big knobs. <laughs> this is the ultimate punching down, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Calling dwarves fat. <laughs> Where have you been so far on your uh, on your trip? I flew in Glasgow, Newcastle, great city. Edinburgh, Hull, and, and here. Yeah, yeah there's, three there's, really there's an odd one cities. out, isn't there, in well, those? Oh. One of these things is not like the <laughs> others. It's like Edinburgh, Glasgow, Newcastle, great cities. Hull's also there. <laughs> well, I didn't even think anything of it till I met people from England, uh, like before the tour starts, yeah. and every single person, like, why the fuck are you going to Hull? I actually think Hull is getting cooler. There's some like good bits of Hull now. There's some cool stuff happening there. Like it is traditionally a shithole, oh, okay. but it's had a little bit of regeneration. There's some cool like uh, like art stuff happening there. Yeah, and stuff you, now. you could say that there's a great bits of every northern town. You've just got to look for exactly. It. You got to look for it. Yeah, just gotta look I think we didn't mind it, but we're there for like seven hours. So it was... Yeah, it's. <laughs> Where did you play in Hull? Which ah, uh, fuck, good question. <laughs> so how social? But okay. Like in the posh area, apparently. <laughs> That's what someone told me. Wow. Like, cool. Yeah. Uh, we normally play at the whole comedy lounge, which is a converted laser quest. Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's not, fucking sick. It's not even be fully converted. The front door is still a big cog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they don't they don't kick you out. What they do is they shoot you and your vest lights up. <laughs> and you go, oh, no. stop talking. That's how you order drinks. That's... You shoot at the ceiling. That's so good. Uh, yeah. I have uh, I have two facts about Hull that I know yeah. that everyone knows really. The first world's is it, smallest window. It's got what I didn't know that. It's got the world's smallest window in Hull. This. What? Yeah, it's the thing there. Facebook, Google. Can we Google it? Can we check Hull. it? What Honestly, a it's pointless a, thing to it's be It's a known tourist for. attraction. If you search for like top things to do in, in Hull, it's one of the top ten. Is the smallest window in Hull? Uh, what uh, is uh, the world's smallest? It might window? not even be the world's anymore. But like, just uh, just put Hull. There you go. And see if it's still. World's yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 land of green ginger. Yeah, yeah. The land of the green there ginger. There it is. The world's smallest window. That's a tourist attraction in Hull. But it's one really? of the top 10 tourist Where, attractions. Where's the window? To the right. That little slit. Oh, that? Yeah, that's that the gap. World, that's the world's smallest window. Do you know what? And there was me thinking the world's smallest window was a girl's virginity in rural India. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes. What, um, what are your facts about Hull? Can you beat the uh, smallest window? Yeah, it's it's a pretty the, good fact. It's got yeah. the world's largest subquarium. Right, yeah. So a, a subquarium is an aquarium that's underground. No, it's where all the fishes really like it when you choke them. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done to I made a halibut cum. <laughs> um, Spat in an eel's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'd love to go to somewhere like that. I'd love where to go to a place. Fucking where you fucking the shit out of the animals. Low-key abuse animals. <laughs> Imagine just, like, slapping a platypus or something like that. Just, you know, what are you waiting <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Finger in a penguin, dead out. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, imagine yeah. there was a place where you could kick a tiger in the balls. Yeah. You could just, there was a tiger and it was just spread out. You could just whap it in the bollocks. I mean, I, I don't know how drugged a tiger would have to be before I trusted myself to kick it in the yeah. bollocks. I want to pick, I want to be a flat track bully with animals. No, I, yeah, I, think should, I, think should, I think they should allow that in every zoo, but they don't drug the tiger at yeah. all. So as, you're allowed to do it, but whatever happens, happens. I think it's you're odd. allowed to do it in the wild. I think if you just go to Africa, you're welcome to try. <laughs> like It's on you what happens yeah, after that. Maybe like a tiger glory hole you're thinking. <laughs> so here's, here's my other fact about Hull, yeah. is that they don't have uh, like proper internet over there. They have right. KC internet yeah. because they sold all the phone lines to this company and they sold a lease for like a thousand years. And so there's only one internet provider and it's just shitty fucking one megabyte a year internet yeah. for a thousand years yeah something like that yeah when he says something like that that is a number he's made up <laughs> like you, you've got to remember Freddie will often say things confidently but completely wrong so yeah, you know yeah. you just got to look out for those yeah, they happen I all the time yeah I trivial with you he's got a thousand or something I think like uh, alright over a hundred there you, we go are you, yeah. are you guaranteeing over a hundred I bet you a th 
yeah. Between you're the, 100 and 1,000. You're, <laughs> you're the sort of kind of ruins trivia teams because you're so confidently. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, Monday yeah. for sure. And you're like, no, that was 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Are you, have you Googled why does Hull have bad internet I'm trying to find how many years it is. But it Just put KC internet. Yeah, how long? How lease. Long? No, that's good. How long? How long, yeah. Why does Hull have bad internet connection? He's so shit at Googling. It's genuinely incredible. It's kind of his old job too, isn't it? Hull. Put yeah. Hull. Yep. It's literally all he's got to do. <laughs> we don't ask much, but he's fucking shit really it. Really backseat Googling right now. How long you? does Hull have KC on? And uh, there we go. Uh, economics. Partly due to... Uh, fucking hell, this is so boring. boring. This is so dull. So why we, boring. Why Tell you we what, going... editor, you Google it and put it up on screen. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. Are we just outsource the job to someone else? Yeah. Why have a dog and bark yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Get on it, Jody or Brett, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what else have we got? What other, uh, what other stuff have we got? Oh, would you like uh, some advice? We've got some advice. All right, we've got a section called Advice from a Cunt. Oh, I would love that. Yeah. Okay. okay, here's the jingle. I fucking love that. Advice from a cunt. I actually don't care if any of you live or die. Uh, we can do not Reb's dating profile or not my kid. I think no- we've done enough not Reb. Okay, we'll, like, do, not, we'll do not Reb on the page, maybe. Yeah, okay. Not my kid. When me and my now ex got together, she was already pregnant with someone else's child. Having two kids of my own, I didn't see this as a problem. Uh, what? That's... She was already pregnant. She was already pregnant. That sounds like together. a fetish at that point. With isn't it? someone else's child. Yeah. yeah. But I've got two kids of my own, so three won't be an issue. If you do want to come on a baby, that is the best time to do it, I would say. What? While it's still in a. I don't think it counts. It's the only time it's legal. But to it do not count a as a baby, does it, until it's born? Yeah, but if you go like nine months, that's a baby. Look, like, I'm, I'm not like, look, a fetus is not a baby. I'm all pro-abortions. But if it's about to pop out in a day or two, I think you can say it's a baby at that point. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Mm. If they're in labour. Yeah. If it's a collection of cells, that's not a baby. That's a fucking Oh, if you block. can come on a baby's head as it's coming out. Yeah. That's yeah. The christening. I mean, quite a lot of pressure. I mean, I'd be quite impressed if you managed to keep it up in a theatre surrounded by doctors and nurses who are all presumably quite angry at you. <laughs> <laughs> You're really not helping the process. Maybe that's why people have home births. Yeah. What's well, so they can wank in a paddling pool full of shit? I can't think of any other reason. Yeah. Well, fair enough. If, yeah. if you did have a home birth, if your missus was decided yeah. that you wanted to have a home birth, yeah. you'd be like, you're doing it outside. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Do I you know what I mean? Why? Because I don't want fucking shit in my living room. No, they're doing the bathtub. Yeah, it's going to be in a pool or a paddling they're pool. They're doing the bathtub. Yeah, but if it's you're not just doing it on the car, well, you're going to get stuff on a bathtub. So. Yeah. Oh, I thought everyone in England had a bathtub. No, I've just... no, they, no they, don't do, they don't do that big. Bath. <laughs> you just fucking love... Oh, I can't fit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's too, too fat. The fucking pool, yeah. Too too fat. Fat. Right, the read pool. out this fucking If he gets advice. in a bath, he just fills it up to the top. <laughs> <laughs> it's just him. Freddie has... up to the limit. <laughs> Freddie has to go to that sub-aquarium. <laughs> 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 he just turns up in hole with a towel and a loofah. <laughs> 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 Can I ever go in your sub-aquarium, yeah. please? Get the stingrays out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trust me. Right, go so, on. So he's going out with someone who's got... Who's pregnant? Yeah, 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 yeah. After he was born, I developed a strong bond with him, and I saw him as my son, even though I knew deep down he wasn't mine. You should also know, like, way up high. Yeah, 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 know, yeah. It's not a thing you know deep down. Fe- you know value. everywhere. Yeah. If they're already pregnant before you <laughs> fucked them, it's not a grey area. Yeah, That's but... not your baby. I've got a funny feeling this baby isn't mine. <laughs> but who knows how much school he did? Like, science is hard. He's yeah. coming a few times. I might mix in a little bit. You don't yeah, know yeah, exactly. Is this is one of our fans. They're not the brightest. Nah, a bit of osmosis <laughs> through the <laughs> uterine wall. As a teach PA, so. <laughs> Some words there. I don't know if they made sense, but they were words. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they Jeez made Moses. sense. <laughs> don't quote me on them, but they are words. words. Uh, me and my ex recently broke up, and I started to speak to someone else within a couple of weeks. Yes. I'm happier now than I've ever been with my ex, but she's been giving me a lot of shit, saying that I never cared about them, and that it's weird that I moved on so quickly. Now, the reason that the ex is giving him shit is so because... So he's broken up with the woman who was he's pregnant. He's broken up with pregnant woman. Right. And the she's reason, annoyed that he's, he's not moved st- on quickly and not staying in contact with the. Wait, well, son. the next bit. My question really is: Do I continue to see my son, which isn't my son, or do I just cut them off entirely and continue to be happy without? Cut them, them off? <laughs> the fuck is this a question for? You've got two kids that you're the actual dad to. 
This is just a random kid that's going to get to know 30 <laughs> other blokes by the time it's 15. I, I'm just, but, I'll be honest, I'm absolutely gutted that this kid has got some random guy trying to be his dad when I couldn't even have a dad want to be my dad. <laughs> <laughs> how old's the kid? Do yeah, that really no, matters. No, that does matter. How long, like how long 17 you been... and they had like... Yeah. Years. If they've, you know, if that was it. If it, it I totally, if they've been oh. around ages, yeah. different to if what? it's like one and doesn't know. My yeah. stepdad, he got with my mum when I was like two mm. and they split when I was 11 and I still have a good relationship with him. I see him all the time. I was like, and they've split, so, been split so for like 20 years. Healthy years. sexual relationship. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, and that's on a glory old <laughs> So, so yeah. you, you can see him all the time? Yeah, he came to my wedding. Like, we're friends. Have yeah, you got yeah, another yeah. dad since? I had another stepdad since. I don't get with him. But so you I, I, see, I have my dad. Yeah. I do see, I've got a relationship with him. I have my stepdad. Oh, he was my first stepdad. Uh, and I still and sort of call him a stepdad, even though he hasn't been for like 20 odd years. And then you have a third stepdad. No, yeah, like a second stepdad. Dad. Second stepdad. Second stepdad, third dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have any dads. No, no, no dad. Dad. Tom's him, hoarding all the dads. <laughs> do you rank him? Do they, does the ranking change? Uh, I'm not going to rank him. There's definitely, there's, oh, a, there's can, definitely a laugh space. I can, <laughs> I can rank them for you, which would surely be your actual dad first, your stepdad second, and then the stepdad that you said you don't like third. And yeah, probably, yeah. But my, my first stepdad, though, we have a like, super good relationship. Yeah, but like, he's not your dad, is he? No, he's not, but he, he did bring me up like from the age of two to 11. I live with him, and then I still saw him like a couple of nights a week after that as well, like because he was just... Two to 11 as well is the hardest time, I think. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, because well, you got to... No, nah, but you got to go watch them play sport and they're just fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> and at 15, they're finally getting good. You're like, yeah. okay, I can see you can stringing just... a pass together yeah. here. There's a little bit of structure to that yeah, backline yeah, finally. Yeah. You, you, can, you, can play leave, soccer? you can leave a 15-year-old alone for like an evening and they'll be more than happy because they'll be like, fine, I get to have all the wanks and shit. Do yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah but they will Whereas also like, occasionally you destroy leave. your house. Or like, I'm just thinking of myself as a teenager. I was a lot easier as a little kid well, than you a can, teenager. Yeah, you can leave a two-year-old because they can't knock on you. Who are they yeah. going to tell if you leave them? Yeah, and yeah. if you leave them in a hot car, problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> the cars get hot here? <laughs> Comparatively. Hot enough to uh, boil a toddler, don't you worry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a bit longer, but yeah. we'll get there. That was so Aussie, we'll though. Just like, there. think that's hot, do you, Cam? Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> the hottest I've ever been to was Singapore, yeah. uh, and that was stupid. Yeah. Like It was. It says fucking, the hottest children is obviously. It was yeah. Fucking, oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a reason. No, Jakarta. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, the hottest children... Oh. That was a quick answer on Jakarta. Uh, it really was, wasn't it? <laughs> the, it was. It was way too, way too specific as well. Not even a whole yeah, country. He nice. nailed it down to a region. Yeah, <laughs> I hot... reckon he knows the street. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't pronounce it though. Yeah. Yeah, postcode. The hottest place I've ever been to is Singapore, and it was so fucking warm that it was hot, like everything was horrible. Like mm. just doing. Sounds anything. like your mum's anus. <laughs> In what way? You know, it's hot and horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Full of little Asian men. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Freddie's been there. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a lot of greasy food inside it. Are you quite finished? No. Okay. So, yeah, that was the hot spot. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck the point of this is anymore. <laughs> 18 months we've been doing this for now, and I hate it. I fucking hate it. <laughs> it's so fun I've trapped you into this. You ever, uh, you ever get to the point where something in your life is successful, but really you could do without it? Well, yeah, it's my podcast. I completely <laughs> yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah we, like none of us wanted this. <laughs> this is Same where we ended up. So what are we giving it back? I don't know. I think it's a bit weird to keep... Never see him again. Kids. Cut him out yeah. your life Depends straight away. Depends how old they are, yeah, but mostly... I would ask the age first. And it's like, it's man's prerogative anyway to just fuck off and never see a kid but again. But I also, I also think it's kind of funny if he hangs out with the son and not the, the other mum. Mm, right. Because then she'll get extra cut. Yeah. Like mental warfare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you could really start like uh, manipulating the son against your ex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's what I mean. Yeah. That sort of stuff, really. Yeah. That could work. How are we going to fit blackmail into this one? Because we usually try and work a way into get blackmail. Um, so what we do is you, you <laughs> work, manipulate the son into saying that his mother sexually abused him and then you use that as blackmail. Yeah, could, or kidnap the son. Kidnap the son, yeah. He's to, kid, he's to kidnap if he wants to hang around with you. Yeah. 
That's true. Yeah. And then you can blackmail that way. Yeah, do grooming. Have, do you have classic. amber alerts in this country? No, we're aware of what they are, though. Yeah, I'm not we don't have them. We don't have them. Oh, it's a thing. Um, it, it's uh, in America, basically, if a kid gets kidnapped, everyone's phone in the area gets an alert. Yeah, it's happened when I've been in America. Yeah, it's yeah. happened when I've been in America. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Like, so, this, it goes, like, look out for this kid. Look what out for this do? car, whatever. It's like a giant Where's Wally game. What did you do? Because if I got that notification, my initial reaction would be like, quality. Do you know what I mean? I was cut because, yeah, I was like, so You've been running outside with a blow like a... dart trying to catch him. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> Join in. That's a good point. It does alert yeah. the pedophiles of the lost yeah. little girl. Yeah, it treats you like a fucking <laughs> treasure hunt. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you can ever ask a pedophile if they want to go halves. <laughs> <laughs> can I go twos on a child? Look, because you stole it, you can pick the hole. And then... <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> what the hole are they going to bury it in? <laughs> Uh, I think I think abandon, <laughs> abandon this child. <laughs> and probably this. That's, that's proper paedophile that etiquette. That is, is like, whoever stole the kid. Have, yes, I know choice. you start Get with dibs. The, I know you start with the smallest child on the outside and work inwards <laughs> <laughs> to progressively larger children yeah. as you go through. So. Yeah. yeah, and then anyone else is fair game. You just start shotgun on the arse or whatever. Right. <laughs> I'm in a different place right now, I'm going to be honest. I'm really tuned out. A little music box is going in my head. I'm going, I have not thought about this and stuff as much as you guys. Seeing the followers tick down, aren't I you? Have not. <laughs> I, just, I just haven't thought it. I was like, how are you so quick on these takes? I'm like, at some point, I think you've uh, you've thought about this a, a lot. Uh, every week for the last 18 years. <laughs> yeah. you know, you've done your research. Yeah. Well done. We do about three hours a week. Sharpen up. <laughs> Sharpen up. Yeah. Uh, have we got any more advice before we move on to videos? Yeah. Nice. Or like another bit. Have we got like... Uh... <laughs> We've got some good news. Uh, All right. Oh, bladder cable. This is one I saw All yesterday. Right, okay. This is just a picture. Yeah. Um, uh, this length of insulated TV cable was removed from the bladder of a 23-year-old man. It had become encrusted with phosphate and it coiled to the anatomical curves of the bladder. Oh my God! So someone had put that up the knob. Yeah, and it got stuck in the bladder. No, oh, a that... TV cable. <laughs> it's so much of it as well. Yeah. Like if like ten inches of cable ain't doing it for you, you need to find a new hobby. Putting it further isn't going to help. You're not hitting good shit back there. Yeah, you know, right. your prostate's right there. That's you only so need like two much. inches. How long was it in there for? Do we know? I don't know. Enough to calcify, you know? Like, it seems like it's going to be in quite a while. Oh, I mean, God. the only other way is that he drank it. <laughs> I don't think that is the way, Tom. <laughs> Maybe he, like, dissolved it and then it re... <laughs> Did... Was that the TV cable they were using, do you reckon? Or we bought a, <laughs> or we bought a new one? Satellite's down again. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was like. I'll be cut if I was... I reckon he had a row with his missus because she yeah. wanted to watch something that he didn't. He went, yeah. I'll fucking show her. She won't be able to watch anything now. Like a knob. reverse magician <laughs> just keep putting it up. And she, yeah, went... Maybe he's just trying to do a magic trick. Yeah. Maybe she's just a clown who doesn't have any flags. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a ping pong show in Thailand, but like <laughs> usually, well... It would be amazing if they did that, pulled out of the knob and then connected it and it worked. Yeah, that would be a, What a show And you had all the channels, all the illegal yeah, ones, all yeah, the yeah. I, like, ones. <laughs> I like the idea that he got into an argument with his missus, shoved it up his knob and she went, well, I'll just watch it online. And he went, fuck, fuck. fuck. Grab the root and just shoved it up his knob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, don't, I think, though, this is an instant go to hospital, isn't it? Like, you know, where you got to know pretty quickly. Yeah. That you need hospital. When as soon as it doesn't come out, yeah. hospital. And like it's so much to not leave yourself a handle. Tie a knot in the end of it, you know? Yeah. Just give yourself a like, well, the easiest thing to do, keep it connected to the telly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that the easiest thing to do? Well, well, a telly's not going into your bladder, is it? Yeah. It's not going into your bladder, but then you're you know, you're constrained by the positioning of the telly. It might be difficult to maneuver. Yeah, you've know. got to go towards it rather yeah. than pulling it. You've got to bring Mohammed to the mountain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How would you explain I, this one as well? well you, like, know, you know, like when people get stuff stuck up their ass, they go, oh, I fell. Yeah. How do you explain this one? Just, you've got to say, I thought it'd make me come if I put this up my nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the only Honestly, thing you can do. yeah. And then you they're just like, got to go, being honest. It, like, I've spoken to doctors and nurses about this, you know, doing crowd work, obviously. And like, they've all just been like, we all know, just say. It's fine. But you know? could you have aided it and it comes down through? No. 
No, nah, but like, no, I'm saying, like you're lying. Yeah, well, how, how does the stuff get to your bladder? It's up your knob. That's the only oh, way. Drinking. Then, like, it's yeah, not drinking. the only way. You don't piss by oh, hoovering like, up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It goes through saying. your fucking kidneys, though. There's a whole filtering stage. Yeah, it's just like, for it to be like that, it has to be. You can't get solids through. There's no solids. I'm not an expert on cord and bladders. Like, Oh, I'm a big piss expert. How long are you in the UK for, Frenchie? Um... Uh, I just another week, a week more. And where else are you going? You go in. We're uh, going Manchester next, Liverpool, and then London, and then Amsterdam. Nice. So we'll check out the glory. <laughs> yes, get on it. Is there anywhere that you want to see in England specifically? Anything that you feel like you've missed out on? No, 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 not really. I think well, we've seen up north. I like um, yeah. so I wanted to see Liverpool because I like the football team. But other than that, I don't. I don't know. England all. You're not asked at all, are you? <laughs> <laughs> bro, I don't, I don't know, like, because I saw Stonehenge in, in August with the missus. Yeah. We were at a, Underwhelming, at a, isn't it? We're at a, what the fuck is it? So it's small. pathetic. <laughs> so small. Bro, we, yeah. we sort of, we just drove past it. We didn't even mean yeah. to see it's it. It's just next to the road, yeah. It's next to the fucking road. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this must be a model Stonehenge. No, no, that's the one. That's the one. That's it, yeah. Right, and that's like the big tourist attraction. Yeah, I'm, like, yeah. I'm not really worried about yeah, saying everything much is, then. Yeah, everything's a lot smaller here than oh, you yeah, expect. Oh, yeah, apparently. Yeah, it's like the opposite of Texas. It's yeah. like everything's tiny. Have you you've been to Australia, yeah? Uh, no, I've never been. We have like big, we're like, they like to do big things in yeah, small towns. Yeah, so like the, the world's biggest shrimp. Yeah, it's just yeah. a big, like, they made yeah. a massive wire mesh shrimp. There's, a, there's a big mango in a town called Bowen in Queensland. It's yeah. just a big mango. I what? genuinely want Bigger than Stonehenge. What? Why? I genuinely want to Banana is the famous one in yeah. Costa does that, does that impress Australia? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll, <laughs> we'll drive the hells out of our way to see the big mango. Gee, I, I want to go on a road a trip. Genuinely, I really want to go on a road trip where I just go see big shit across oh, Australia. It's such too. a fun trip. It's a sick trip. I, yeah. I, I, I really want to yeah, do it. It'd be so the, fun. We got the big thing, stingray. Is this a yeah, thing that entertains Steve. tall men? Is that what this is? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're just like, like yeah, oh, I'm yeah. big as well. Look yeah. at that. Finally, a mango that is correctly proportioned. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I can't understand. I. For me, if someone said, do you want to go and see the biggest mango in the world? Mm. It's outside your front door. What if you I'd want... be like, no. But what if it's... Do you want to see the world's biggest man tits? Look down. <laughs> yeah, so you got excited about that You're one. only going to get the mango because it's fruit. <laughs> 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 no, you definitely go and see the world's it's... biggest hash brown. It's just a... <laughs> and it quickly become the world's smallest hash brown. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I'm not, I'm not impressed by like... But I should it's like, no, it's not a real mango. I think you're missing the point. It's not <laughs> it's an not actual farmer grown a mango. They made a big statue like a, of a mango. Like yeah, a but that makes it mango. worse. No, it makes it better. No, it makes it worse. It's what art. Is, it's not even a thing. It's art. It's not. Well, the statue. I decide what isn't isn't art. Right. Yeah. Okay. But like. It's 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 bigger than some mango. You're like that's sick. It's a big mango. That's yeah. bigger than shit. Why is it sick though? Because you know what a mango looks like. You know that it's not that big, and you know it's not a mango. Can you do stuff with it, or do you just? No, you look can't it? fuck it. No, if you want. To. <laughs> <laughs> no. After hours, maybe. You sleep the, that would have oh, given it redeeming quality. I'm yes. gonna I'm gonna travel Australia yes. and come on every big item. <laughs> oh, you can go inside the big banana. You can yeah. go inside. The I'm gonna big come banana. in the big banana. Yeah, the that's big fine. Yeah, that's jizzed fine. on. I'm yeah. just gonna yeah, throw another jizz on the Barbie. <laughs> There's a big merino, there's a big sheep. I, know, I I'm going to fuck that big sheep. Oh, yeah, yeah that yeah. one you can. I'm going kiwi, baby. <laughs> I feel like this is was... what it's like at like the learning disabled class. Oh, yeah. When they're like, oh, it's we big. We just call that, that school. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's just school for us. It's just it's big. It's bigger than what it used to be. Right, is. today, kids, we're doing big fruit. <laughs> <laughs> we're convicts. We love the big shit. That's why I, we... I can't wrap my head around that. They're, they're not an educated people. No, we're no, not. not at no, all. No, What beans. do they call the bogans, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bogans? You yeah. don't have bogans, do you? I guess you got chavs, but that's yeah, like, it's similar. not the same. But no, they have our own flavor, but I, it's the same sort of thing. I feel like bogans have got a little more charm. Do you know what I mean? In we don't head, we don't rob as many people. In my head, Bogan <laughs> is like a some of them, but we have cheeky we have like you know cheeky friendly working class. Yeah, stuff like cheeky that. chavs. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, like yeah, Bogan. Yeah, yeah. We're the cheeky yeah. Bogan. I learned Bogan from watching Married at First Sight Australia. Oh, right. you watch that? Oh, I fucking right. Yeah, I yeah, he is quite gay. Um, yeah, right. I do, mate. It's it's the best Married at First Sight of all the countries. So, the, one the, thing Australia does reality TV very fucking well. You get yeah. by you get all our weird shows. Yeah. Like for some reason they just pop in the UK. Yeah. Neighbours. You were the only ones who were watching it. It was huge. We and when we stopped, it. it fucking got cancelled. Yeah, it's back now. Yeah, it's back. Yeah, yeah. they've been zombied it. Yeah. Uh, but you get all our comedy, is what I noticed when I was out there. All the comedy on TV, most of it is British. Yeah, right? Jimmy Carr, they love him. Yeah. Um, what, what other comedies do we get? Oh, there was loads of stuff like uh, there was like they were showing like Taskmaster, loads of like panel shows and oh, stuff like that. Oh yeah, I don't, want, you know, I don't watch that. In between us is fucking sick. Yeah. 
Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of that. Like, you know, like culturally, we're fucking incredibly similar, isn't it? Speaking of British culture. Yes. Sorry, did he just do one of my segues? Yeah, he did. tried this, to. But this is a good one. Jesus it wasn't, Christ. It was good. Have you seen the guy who's <laughs> trying to drink 2,000 pints in 200 days? Yeah, it was Freddy before. He's a fucking pneumonia. <laughs> oh, yeah, this was a challenge goodness. someone was doing on there. Fuck the guy is who's running the length of this, Africa. Yeah, is this for ALS too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trying to give himself it. <laughs> by the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's... that's, that's that's 10 pints a day for two, every 200 day for 200 days. days. 200 days. It's really serious alcoholism, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd, yeah. Be, you'd be surprised to know he's not got great teeth. Yeah. <laughs> he also, he looks about 40. Yeah. Yeah, he's 25. <laughs> oh, my God. That's what a 25-year-old man looks like. Yeah, if you drink 10 pints a day. He yeah. looks so bad, man. He looks like alcoholic David De Gea. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's just dropping all the pints. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's normal, David De Gea. <laughs> right, like, uh, so, yeah, I reckon I was probably matching him for units for a while. Like, how many units? It Was it two units a pint? A bit more than that, two and a half, is it? Something like that? Uh, how many units in a bottle of whiskey? Because I was nailing one of them a day for a while. I don't uh, know. Doing a I, bottle a day. I used to be, yeah. I don't drink anymore. I used to be a fucking legend. Yeah, yeah. Steve-O. You're yeah. Uh, English Steve-O. Engl- you? Yes, it's been said. <laughs> it's been said. <laughs> yeah, without the circus skills or charm <laughs> <laughs> or money but or got, success. But you got the drink. But I used to drink a lot. I still do drugs, though. Uh, that's, oh, that's the difference. Fun. You know, yeah. like, you know, I just and don't you, booze. And you've both got shit tattoos. I've got great tattoos. Yeah. How come you're allowed to do drugs and but not drink? Uh, just because I get to choose. <laughs> so like, yeah, I'm yeah, not no, in like yeah. AA or anything. Yeah, I just yeah, stopped yeah. drinking and like I've never had a like problem with drugs. It was booze that caused all the problems. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Like, I'm alright. I only do drugs like a couple of times a year. Yeah, well, yeah. I smoke weed every day, but then uh, <laughs> proper drugs I do like you know four times a year. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just change of the seasons. Yeah, you know. If I'm having, if I'm at a festival, I'll take I'm, every drug going. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm back drinking now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So I did, I did two months and one day off drinking, mm-hmm. and it was fucking shit. Nearly got to the point where you start feeling good. And, uh, yeah. Wank. It was fucking wank. Yeah. You, you did care. the hard bit and then gave up before you got the benefit. Good. I don't care. I'm yeah. never doing that again. <laughs> yeah. Fucking rubbish. I had, th- I had three glasses of wine the other night. Mm. I was on my fucking ass pissed, yeah. and then I woke up the next morning and my stomach was screaming at me yeah and your enlarged heart probably wasn't that happy either <laughs> yeah, he's, got yeah, an, yeah. he's genuinely got an enlarged heart that wasn't even a yeah he had a pig heart transplant I didn't oh, have a pig, pig, heart, yeah. pig heart transplant sort of pig. it was actually three pigs or oh, three pigs <laughs> <laughs> I stitched them together I mean to be fair <laughs> <laughs> from the sounds of it all I need to do is go to Australia and people are fucking drive for hours to look at my slightly bigger yeah, heart. Bro, <laughs> oh, fucking hell, man. mine's massive. Oh, Go out, on, look bro. at the size of those tits. Bro, you're not even wrong. Farlap, our horse, has not had the biggest heart ever and we're fucking stoked by that. Yeah. What? So you're not even wrong. His Farlap was an Australian horse, yeah. He used to win everything. Oh. He had a really big heart and it's in the museum. Maybe we should have you <laughs> in the so fucking not national. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not even wrong. We would love that. Would the love Kentucky Fried see. Chicken Derby. <laughs> 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 the Whisper Gold Cup. <laughs> so, what was it? so? What was your voice when you weren't drinking? Chilton ham sandwich. <laughs> what were you doing? Uh, nothing. I had I had no alcohol, no coffee, and no takeaway for two. No minutes. takeaway as well. So you weren't doing nothing. I was were doing. You, oh, you were just nothing. watching Married at First Well, I tell you what, yeah, I like almost I, I almost died in hospital. So yeah, he had, he had Legionnaires right. disease. Oh shit! Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like a Victorian disease. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. Yeah, is that it's the like one it's that like gives pneum- you gangrene. No, I mean, it's like it's like disease. a form of pneumonia. You get it from licking shower heads. Uh, <laughs> he got it from a gay sauna. <laughs> <laughs> I say, you've got cum lung, Mr. Quinn. <laughs> cum lung. Like, you've vaped it. Oh, actually, that's a call forward. We'll find the Naked Martin video of that, actually, in a bit, yeah. Um, um, right, what's this here? So there's another story, uh, speaking about people being fat. Plus-size travel influencer who demanded other passengers pay for obese flyers extra seats now calls on hotels to enlarge hallways to help fat guests. I think we had this guy, I think we watched the video of this guy when he was like, oh, this, the cost for extra seats should be spread about amongst I, everyone. That's a chick. Uh, yeah, it might be a woman. Yeah. Whoa! I mean, I there's know. a picture of it. Still undecided. Yeah. yeah. Smaller Whoa. tips than yours? Yes. <laughs> Just. Do you know what? She's even got a fat name. What? Yeah, Jaylene Cheney. Jaylene 
Jay Lynn? Yeah, yeah Jay Lynn's a fat name. Jay Lynn is a fat name. It sounds like Jowl. It's very close. I think if you put Lynn after any name, it's a fat name. In my head, she sounds like, my name is Jay Lynn Cheney. She's from Vancouver, though, so she's Canadian. Is she? a little Canuck in there. Yeah. Okay. My name is Jay Lynn Cheney, eh? (laughs) There you go. Nailed it, Tom. Did it. Yeah. Um, She wants a hotel to raise their toilet seats. And for each room with handheld shower heads so that bigger body people can use their facilities. Right, so like she's she's now angry at the size of hallways. Yeah, she wants hallways to be bigger. I think if you're having problems with the size of buildings, yeah, if perhaps it's you that should change if, size. If, if you're fatter <laughs> than what an architect imagined a crowd of people would be. Yeah, mo- <laughs> several people. Hallways <laughs> are, are designed yeah. for more than one person. Yeah. If you're struggling with that, which is easier? We change every hallway or your ass. Which <laughs> one Which one do you reckon we can do? What's her argument based on this? Uh, she's lazy, probably. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said, was it? Oh, yeah. I'm lazy. <laughs> I'd respect that more if she went, look, I'm just dead lazy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like maybe there should be special fat hotels where you can all be together. Yeah, yeah. zoos. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you just have a feeding trough I think in every room. I think yeah, I slot just burgers zoos, in it. They just come in with a massive bucket of pizza slices, like that. Because <laughs> yeah. they got big hallways for the rhinos and stuff. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Does she have heaps strong legs? She oh was, yeah, like fat yeah. people do. They always have well. They always have those massive calves. Yeah. 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 She always also wants bigger elevators. Well, that makes sense. Can't yeah, that stairs. does make sense. Have you ever have you ever been in a lift and have someone dead fat get in and oh, it gets yeah. scary? Yeah, oh, I, I'd yeah. take lifts with him yeah. all the time. <laughs> I always get out. You're like, oh, actually, I think I was on this floor. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I don't want to be stuck to them. the wall for a start. Oh, don't want it to collapse. Yeah, <laughs> plummet to my death. <laughs> You're quiet on this one. I just stay quiet <laughs> until it goes, and then I make yeah, another reference. Yeah, we've got about you... 25 minutes of this. Yeah. Yeah. We can talk again. So so stay fat quiet. Die Hard would be very funny. I'll if Bruce Willis just... <laughs> was dead fat, he just gets stuck in the lift yeah. shaft. Pie hard. Yeah. And tune in later <laughs> on. When, when there's here. something about child porn, then, you That's know. like what I do with child porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. talk yeah. about you what you know. with child porn, you go quiet with a fat elevator This is it. Well, well, between us, we're serviceable guys. Yeah, there's two out of three meatloafs. There's a meatloaf ratio going on here. He was quiet with the dad chat, you know. We all yeah, exactly. Everyone's got their things. I get it now. I get it. That's cool. The meatloaf scale is actually what Freddie's weighed on. (laughs) He's got a lot of them, to be fair. He's six point four (laughs) meatloafs. It's exponential, like the Richter scale as well. She actually thinks that fat people should get a free extra seat, and to compensate for the uh, free for, for the price that the. The, the value that the airline's going to lose on that everyone else should pay more. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. That's insane, isn't it? Yeah. It's mad, isn't it? I'm so fat that I can't fit in a seat. Yeah. And so therefore, everyone else. Everyone should... else. I'm going to turn up with a hundred kilos of luggage and be like, "Can you pay for that?" Cheers. <laughs> you know, like, can you chip in? Yeah. Fucking stupid fat cunts. <laughs> <laughs> The thing that they get really upset about <laughs> is the idea... Why that, are you saying they? Say we. The thing that we really get upset about <laughs> is, you know, I mean, like, moany fat people. Like, I'm a fat person that's gone, yeah, do you know what? I just like eating whatever the fuck I want yeah. all the time and drinking whatever the fuck I want. I'll deal with the consequences. You are moany every them. time there's a staircase, you know. Shut up. So, <laughs> the thing they get upset about is the idea that there should be, like, a certain allowance and you step on it and then whatever that is is deducted from your luggage. They should so have like a box skinny, like your bags. Little people <laughs> should be able to have more luggage allowance. Yeah. But that makes sense. That actually makes sense. Yeah, I like that. I'm for that. I'm well into that idea as yeah. a small person. Solved. As someone who is uh, <laughs> thin but tall and therefore quite heavy, I'm not into it. Uh, like, I'm, you know. What would you think about this? Like, all you can eat buffets weighing you and then charging <laughs> you accordingly. <laughs> you can have all you can eat. To- Pretending on your percentage of your yeah, what body you, weight, you'd have to take a fucking mortgage out, <laughs> <laughs> rigging up your bank because you want to go to Red Hot Buffet. <laughs> oh, so you think fat people should pay more? Yeah, definitely. They pay more or they're allowed for more. a buffet yeah. or for, for a buffet. A fl- I mean, pay more. On the right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. we're on a buffet now. Okay, cool, yeah. go yeah. Yeah. yeah, but like some skinny people eat shit loads. Like some of the competitive eaters are like yeah. skinny guys. Oh, that Japanese guy. That... Yeah, exactly. He's like, uh, but he's quite hench, actually, the guy who wins all the, the uh, hot dog eating competitions. Yeah. He's like uh, jacked. Hiroshima. <laughs> Hiroshima. Hiroshima. <laughs> that might be the most racist thing you've ever said, <laughs> which is such a high bar. I know his, na- his first name Hiroshima. is something like that. I'm telling you now. It's his not first that, name is... though, is it? 
Right. Hiroshima I'm... Nagasaki, is it? <laughs> yes, he's the bomb. <laughs> I know it's something like that, and I'm not. It's not it Hiroshima, way. though, is it? Right, Google it, because I'm telling you now. Google it sounds what? like the name of a robot Google, I don't want to buy. Uh, Japanese uh, uh, hot dog eating champion. Just yeah, hot yeah, dog yeah. eating champion. Like, you know. Because it's Joey I'm Chestnut. Yeah, then, Joey Chestnut. That's and then the his one. rival is. Oh, Hiroshima. It is. No, it's no. Takeru. Takeru Kobayashi. Kobayashi. Oh, close. Oh, so yeah. close, was that? <laughs> Just like, so close. So apart from, close. Apart from all the sounds, uh, yes. you were nearly there. <laughs> Hiroshima, <laughs> Takeru. That's uh, yeah. really close. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really close. Nintendo. It's like if you had Dave and Shaniqua. So close. So close. Yeah. 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 I used to work in an all you can eat Chinese and a guy did genuinely get banned because he came every day and he would eat so much food that it was just, it was just an insane Yeah, he's food. more beast than man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the Simpsons thing. Yeah. He said you've got to stop coming here because he was also he was really horrible to other staff. Yeah, but like also if you're eating at an all you can eat buffet every day, your life has gone to shit. Oh, they yeah. are bad places. The food is dog shit. It's like, like MSG, yeah, isn't it? Really yeah. terrible. The, the day it opened that place, uh, someone found, found broken glass in their food. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> wasn't a good place no. it's called Generix in Warrington still going yeah did you have fortune cookies but in was there fortune cookies I don't think there was in the Oliquid too bleak in Warrington yeah. they're just like you will have a sad life forever <laughs> <laughs> you will never leave <laughs> your wife will slowly come to resent you <laughs> <laughs> your daughter will suck you off in the glory hole <laughs> if only they'd add that you know, yeah, like, you go, um, I would have known. Should we watch some known. videos? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, so, the end, we watch some of the worst videos. Aladdin. We haven't got Is there anything that got, turns we'll watch you Frenchy? Is there anything we'll, that we'll sort of Frenchy some? turns me gay? No, I mean, that. Is there anything. <laughs> I knew this had something to do with Is there anything that turns me gay? Is there anything that turns And then he crossed his leg. I was like, is there anything that turns your stomach? Yeah, definitely. What? Well, we did one. I saw there was like flesh eating maggots eating a dude's brain while his head was open. That oh, right. Child's play. But he was talking while it was happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So is anything gore? So is that like you, you try to find the most sickening videos? That's not and then For you. you. At the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, don't, I honestly don't know. We're sort of like Amazon, you know, yeah, recommends. He's, a, he's the experts, thing. and I'm like, yeah, yeah. We're going to start off with a bit of Naked Martin. Hold on. We're who, struggling to find it. I think Naked Martin might have. Oh, he got deleted. He might be gone. He's not Naked Martin. Uh, What's his actual account call? Oh. Got naked oh, is is that the kind of shits in his own hand and eats it? Yeah, you know, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my buddies have sent me him a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at first, I was like, "What the fuck?" Oh. And then I got around to it. He's a like friend of the podcast. Yeah, no, he he's not. Yeah, he is. That's great. He's, de- oh. he's deleted Twitter. Oh, I think might. It's a bit oh, different no. than Joe Rogan's friends of the podcast, but oh. I like that. Yeah. I yeah. love that. That's He's hard. deleted Twitter, though. We're really concerned about him. Oh, ring him up. Especially because the point that he... Um, FaceTime him. He went through a bit of a problem where he was uh, posting his own address online for some oh. reason. It was one of his kinks. Yeah. 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 He's, a, he's, like, a, he's a troubled man. Don't do that, Martin. But don't. what would happen? Who would want to go to his house? Oh, I think that there's enough people that would want to troll him. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like he did get quite. Is a it lot. always? Is he always doing the pooping things or does other stuff? It's one of his things. He recently, the one I wanted to show you, which unfortunately we can't find because he's deleted his Twitter. Uh, he recently um, uh, wanked off into a vape cartridge and that's then vaped funny, it. Funny, yeah. yeah. That's like jackass. This is yeah. exactly. One, he's got a little bit of pizzazz to like... it. We watched one last week where he shat in a bucket for a month and then had a bath in it. Welcome to Jackass, and this is the bucket shit drink. Got to... So you guys like Atomic Kitten? Button. Do you like Atomic Kitten? I do like Atomic Kitten. We've been listening to heaps of them on the trip. What? Atomic Kitten. I'm aware of them, yeah. It's like that wasn't yeah. the bit I was, that, that wasn't what the what was about. <laughs> heaps of Atomic Kitten. Well, we were at a karaoke bar on the first night and someone's singing Atomic Kitten. Yeah. And we're like, that must be a, like a, an English Scottish thing. We should listen. Get them on the playlist, and now we're just burning through them. All right, it's not who I would choose to represent <laughs> British music. You know, <laughs> no, I've had quite a few good bands. Don't know if you've heard of like you know the Beatles no, or the never. Rolling Stones. <laughs> you know, if you if you like et cetera, et cetera. Sugar Babes are good. Sugar Babes, yes. Them. Yeah, we're around them. Round, round, baby, baby round, yeah. round. Uh, uh, now bewitched? Now. Do you wear Bewitched? Yeah, they're not bad. Yeah. They're a bit dated. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, do you um, say La Vie? Yeah. Have you listened to Five yet? Yeah, we love Five, yeah. Oh, we've, so, uh, we've actually uh, performed on stage with Five. Fuck off. Okay. Yeah. In yeah, front of, so so we, yeah, did, yeah. we did the um, uh, the Liverpool Arena, like 12,000 people or whatever, and there was five were on stage closing the show. And I actually 
fucked off and got a McDonald's and then came back on and ate it on stage. Whilst we were dancing with five. That's so sick. Do you have footage? Yeah. Show me that video after you show me the dick yeah, getting have, chopped off. Have a word. At it's the, part of have a words thing. Yeah, have a word another podcast from there, the North. They they are the ones who sold out the arena. Yeah, those. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but they booked five to close their show and we were just like, we. Ha- so we were part of the show and at the end of it, we're just on stage with fucking five. How many songs did they do? They did uh, the three. The three, yeah. yeah okay, you know the three great. you want There's them to do. Bad. That's not yeah. bad. There's only three of them left. Yeah. Oh, so oh got, that's. Got they never thought about yeah. that when they they don't think they get people. Oh, are, they still call S Club five. Seven. Don't yeah. put a number they're in your S-Club name. Three and a half aren't yeah. there, aren't they? They don't like. I think you they're down to up. three now. Yeah. yeah <laughs> they're fucking. They've lost another one. Well, the the racist one. She's still there. It's just one of them died recently. What? Paul died. Paul from S Club Seven died. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Bumped to death. See, <laughs> Freddie was the last person to see him. That's how he wanted to go. Some very fat footprints were left yeah. in the scene. <laughs> Bum club party. Uh, we found the hash browns in the anus. Yeah. We found a new kind of Bigfoot with a tiny dick. Right, have we got some here? We've got, we got four. We've right, got four. Let's watch them then. Uh, we watch Little Revenge first. I don't know what this little is. Little Revenge. I don't yeah. know what this is. Oh, mate, Little Revenge is funny. <laughs> yeah, this is a great one. <laughs> this is a great one. Yeah. It's just funny. Oh, oh yeah. shit. <laughs> click the screen so that. <laughs> Tom, click the screen. There you go. Tom. I good, need the mouse. Give me another running kick. Back shit. up and drill me one good soccer kick in the nuts. Go ahead now. Oh, bitch. <laughs> Oh, that so this is two, what do you call them? Like midgets? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's probably fine. Oh, 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 oh. What do you call them? Sex workers. I think we call them at this point. <laughs> that one's got a weird head. Yeah, that sure. one's a bit Dude, under a bridge. Sort of thing. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, this video does start with us setting three riddles. That <laughs> makes <laughs> Bubble, bubble, toilet, trouble. The one trouble. in the green has got a much better technique. Oh, yeah. She's really connected. Don't break your foot. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So oh, kicking balls and yeah. jerking. Oh yeah. Fucking tangle, yo. Tangle your ass. Mm. Oh. Mm. One and two, two and three, three and four and five and six. Okay. Next girl. Dance. Next girl. Next girl. Let's have the fit one. Uh, so two, it's not enough three, for one four, midget to be kicking his dick. He needs uh, a double to get off. Uh, this is how you know you got a problem. Next oh, level. Yeah. Well, they get tired very quickly. <laughs> yeah, they really are. It's not like child labour. Oh. oh. Nice. It's a bit like child labour. It <laughs> looks like child labour. <laughs> it doesn't. Perfect. Get Perfect. a good running start, though. Yeah. Oh, running start? You want a running start? Yeah. Oh, he really knows what he wants. He's like oh, a director. Yeah. He's Watch like this. Oliver Stone. <laughs> oh, oh bad. Finally, get, get on the middle. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You've got to admire someone who does know what they want in life. You know? Yeah, no, he's gone out and got it. Quentin Tarantino's brother, I'm pretty sure. Right, so that was two midgets. Sorry, two little people. Uh, yeah, and you've saved it now. Kicking a dick. Yeah. Yeah, what's that called? Just for like... For like what? <laughs> we'll send you it, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> Little person's revenge yeah. or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It, 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 All right, okay. And speaking of freaks... Well, the boys channel next? like that one. Oh, let's have Choo Choo Steve. Gotcha. Like, this is one of our all-time classics. Should we just Here pause we this? This is uh, England's greatest lover, Choo Choo <laughs> Steve, oh, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is how we all fuck in England. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Back in big up. <laughs> Go on. Go on, say choo choo, Steve. Choo choo, Steve. Go on, choo choo, Steve. Here we go now. Rub it in your hoppies. Go on. Oh. He's fucking Captain Navigator. Look at Navigator on his fucking arm. Go on. How many times have you come and do it? He's gone. How many times? Tell me how many times you've come. How many times? How many fucking times have you come? Call me Steve in a tank engine. Call me Steve in a tank engine. Come on, Juju. Juju, 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 one six eight three four five two cards. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Uh, hey, um, uh, give me a replay. Give me a replay uh, now. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> we done. Fuck off. <laughs> Where are the spastic chin? Yeah. Yes, he did just say wetter than a spastic oh. chin. Oh, nice. He's getting yeah. some riffs in there as well. Choo-choo, Steve. Choo-choo, Steve. Choo-choo, Steve. Steve, Steve and a tank engine. 
Say Stephen the Tank Engine. Stephen the Tank Engine. Call the captain. Just Ringo Starr. What <laughs> What a twist that would be. Steve Bullard was this time. Uh, Hold on. Steve Bullard. Uh, Bullard, I think. Uh, uh, Jimmy uh, Bullard. Yeah, I think he might be. Oh, look, I think we might have misidentified Choo Choo Steve early on. I think he might be Steve Bullard. I heard Bullard that time. We did try and find him. Yeah, we're trying to find him. We've oh, narrowed yeah. him down to the Carlisle area. Yeah, no. So uh, once again, we're appealing. If you know Choo Choo Steve, <laughs> you know how you got to find him. You need to go in undercover. Yeah. You need to create a profile. Mm, Please to like the big girls. Yeah. And so we know swiping. who's catfishing him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, I swore I'd only be? use these big fat tits for good. Oh, that is good. That is good. Freddie, can you say rubber digging rapids, please? In what accent? <laughs> what? Hmm? No. No. Okay. I can only do it in one. All right. Which one? So, um, uh, <laughs> British Which Pakistani. <laughs> yeah. Please do it. I feel like there's a tension here. Yeah. Rubber dingy rapids, bro. That's so racist. That's, that's not, not bad. Okay. That's, that's not, not okay. Bad. No, that's it's not racist. bad. Really racist. You shouldn't have done the head movement. What? <laughs> You're a prick. <laughs> You're such a prick. Right. Should what's... we finish on uh, cut the tip off? Well, let's have perverse family then cut the tip off. Oh, then. perverse family's a real fun one. This... Oh, can... This we're is... going to finish on the tip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah, had to yeah. finish on cut the tip. Like, you can't follow the tip. Fucking and like, perverse family's a strong one. So like, you know... This is um, a trailer for a uh, film series. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. What are you Whoa. doing? So click. There you go. Right, so here we go. Joseph the grandpa is picking his belly button there. They've got a fun little intro for everyone. Too. Oh, yeah, so you know who everyone is. And then it really starts to escalate. Whoa, that's a lot of dicks. Yeah. Oh, there's so many dicks. Oh, she shat. Yeah. That's enough. Oh, I've got to get the big screen. In. Yeah. Oh, full foot. <laughs> full foot. Oh, There's a prolapse. prolapse. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's Halloween themed. I see what's going on. Oh, throwing up. Okay, wow. That's big. That is big. That's big. impressive at some point. They've got the best of the best in this, haven't they? Yeah, they've got the real... Uh, this is the SAS. Just this wait. is the elite. Oh, yeah. That's a head in an ass. <laughs> head in an That's ass. That's a whole head in an whole ass. Whole head in the ass, yeah. A whole head in an ass. Whole head in an ass. I hate it when they give away the best bit of a movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> they give it all the punchlines oh, away. Oh, yeah. right. For real. Ooh, I reckon there's probably some more surprises in that film that they haven't shown in the trailer. Where did you go after a head in an ass? I mean, turns, turns out it was his dad. <laughs> 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 they seem quite amazing. Imaginative, to be honest. I think they'll come up with some of it. Shoulders? Yeah. <laughs> right, let's I like let's the bit watch. where they pour a bucket of sick on someone. I, well. It's just so much happening at once. It's yeah, just it's impressive. Let's, let's finish on the last one. Yeah. Now, this is real, just so you're aware. Well, you, you, there's no way this could be fake. You will see the video. You will see... Uh, but also as well, we've seen the article, haven't we? Oh, yeah, we have, yeah. Uh, we followed this up with a news story. Um, so, yeah, this one made the news. So some people like to do sort of a extreme body modification I'm fetishes. I'm scared of this one. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this one. I'm rough. not gonna lie. Uh, this one yeah, is this rough. is uh, what happens when you put your gender reassignment surgery on group on. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! Three, two, one, go. No, don't go. Oh, don't go. go. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no! Ah, oh, no. I've seen this so many times. What it's still fuck? horrific. What the fuck? What the fuck? They're going the full. Oh, going to work, oh. The whole thing. <laughs> do the whole thing? No, not the whole thing. Oh, oh that's fucking making oh. me ill. Can't fuck. Oh, 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 the last bit is the worst. He's a fucking sick. What's he gonna eat us on now? No, no, no. Fuck, oh, this... that shit, bro. Oh. Yeah. What? Have you so... had a nice time, Frenchie? Oh, <laughs> till that, you sick fox. What the fuck? Have you got anything you want to plug? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Tell people where they can find you. Uh, yeah, I've been um, uh, Daniel Sloss. Uh, uh, look me up. 
fuck me. He's a, you watch that every week. Well, not nah. every week. It seems like you do. People send us in videos to 07354 uh, 188257 on WhatsApp. That's 07354 188257. Send your videos in. We've had a couple of technical issues getting new videos on, but we've sorted those. So for next week, please do send loads more in. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, so people send us these and then I watch them all and uh, I have to filter some out before they we get have, there. We have a rule. We have no animals, no racism, no death, no kids, unless you can get one with all four, in which case... Full house send it. Yeah, that's a yeah, total yeah, cancel yeah. that. I get that yeah. aspect of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goes without saying. <laughs> a racist kid fucking a dead dog. That's... <laughs> Oh, the dick we, honestly, that's not the, <laughs> honestly, it's not the worst thing that we've seen. Yeah, we've accidentally, we've accidentally watched so many deaths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we have to edit those oh, out. Yeah, the worst sad. one was the guy getting stabbed in the neck. That was bad. That was bad. Or the that kid on fire. That was a mistake. The kid on fire was. a mistake. I follow a Twitter. It's like moments before death or whatever one of those ones is. Yeah, and it's not moments before death. Sometimes it's just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with, death. That's with, whenever that's happened with us, it's because I've I, either I've not watched all the way to the end of the video because I've been in a rush, or yeah. I've watched the end of the video and thought, oh, they'll be fine, and then later it transpires yeah, they were no, not it did. Yeah, but it's one of those and ones then I feel very bad about it. Until you find out, like, was this person a bad person or whatever? You're like, yeah. oh, that's... oh, it's a pedo. Fuck yeah, it. Yeah, that's fun. That's a fun death. <laughs> that's a fun death. So what do you want to plug? What can we... Uh, when's this coming out? <laughs> you're, probably, you're probably out of the country. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, well, I'm Frenchy on all the social medias. i got a YouTube. i got a Twitter. i got all the things. Yeah, TikTok. I don't do much on Twitter, but I do the other ones. Yeah. yeah. Facebook, Fucking Insta, get on it. And like, I assume you'll shows. be back over, mate. So, yeah, I'll yeah. be back over next year. I'll do some shows. So. Amazing. So, you know, we'll hopefully see some tickets to that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've got loads and loads of stuff on YouTube. I've been checking some of that out. So go and find him on YouTube. Yeah, I've got a lot of videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and if you want to uh, watch these videos, by the way, they're in the dark room on our Patreon. It's Patreon no, It's only. on our Discord. On so our Discord. Uh, uh, say it right, you fucking fat. If idiot. you want to watch it, it's on our Discord, but only Patreons can watch it. Also, uh, if you sign up to Patreon, you get an extra episode every single week, plus loads of specials. There's literally hundreds of hours of content on there There's now. There's so much shit on our Patreon. And you can sign Bargain. up for free and have a free trial for seven days. And after oh. that, it's only three quid a month. It's patreon.com forward Here's slash dead men talk pod. Here's the thing I should explain, right? On our Patreon now, Patreon has done a stupid thing, basically. And there is a button you can press to have a free membership. That is not the same as a free trial. It doesn't get you anything. It's pointless. Don't bother with that. And what's Click extra the free irritating, trial button. What's extra irritating is that we can't contact you to say you've not yeah, yeah. done the so same So loads of people have signed up to a free membership, seeing they've not got anything, and I think they're going to fuck off. So free trial, not free membership. Sorry, there's nothing we can do. Hopefully, Patreon fucking stupid. Hopefully by the time that we uh, do this, people will be signing up going, what? And it's because Patreon will have removed what is no doubt the stupidest fucking feature yeah. Of all time. Yeah, uh, also, yeah. there's another reason to join Patreon. Uh, I don't think we've said it on a public episode yet. But we've said it on a Patreon episode. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's say oh, it. Let's say it news. now. Yeah. Should we say it right, right. now? Yeah. Uh, in, have we got the date confirmed? No. We'll just say, right, in July, uh, coming up, 2024, we are holding the first ever Dead Meat. It is going to be a massive comedy podcast festival. It's going to be comedy, live podcasts, and fucking carnage all day. It's going to be crazy. We've got plans in place already. It's going to be fucking amazing. If you want early access to cheaper tickets, go on our Patreon. There's going to be a limited release for Patreons. There's not enough for every Patreon to have one, so get on there, and then, uh, yeah, like we're going to have a fucking great time next summer it's gonna be sick it is gonna be sick some of the yeah. ideas we've got are absolutely wild <laughs> yeah we're doing some fucked up shit yeah. so you know if you happen to be in the country you are in course and some you. dicks off yeah, yeah lie, mate, let's we're go. having a dick cutting tent let's go if I, had, <laughs> if I had enough I'd offer my dick out but I mean, could we I hire two all. midgets to kick people in the ball oh absolutely. I'll do that yeah yeah, 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 absolutely. yeah, yeah. I'll do it yeah, yeah, yeah. so we only tie one. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah you can kick my but, balls yeah, that'd be 100%. fun yeah we're doing that thanks for listening Thanks, thanks for being here, mate. No, fuck off. Damn.